It's a mind game. Life is about mind games. How can I jump in your head, stick you for your soul? That's how you make money. Bro, the more heads you got, the more you school them, the more you gonna eat. You're eating off everybody. Yo, what's good? What are we doing? What's going on? What's good? Bye, boom, bye. Yo, why is it taking so long? Why is this deal taking so long? I'm paying cash. What's good? So we're gonna post your bond, 100,000. You're gonna give me 10 grand plus collateral. If you run, I'm sticking you for your collateral. I got my bounty hunters who have more power than the police. They could go into your house without a warrant. Brian Aponte is back on the podcast. What's up, bro? What's up, brother? Been a minute. Yeah, it's been a couple weeks. We got you back. You were a little bit tame on the first podcast. Bro, we didn't really her. open her up like we should have. You got to be humble, bro. I feel like we got to do uh, take two. Nah, life is tough, bro. You got to be humble because you got to attract the crowd. Yeah, but I don't think being humble attracts the crowd, right? Being ignorant attracts the crowd. Yeah, but that's stupid money. You need real money. <laughs> you want to spit it to reality. Get, get a little bit closer. People, people respect real stuff that makes real money. When you get ignorant, you're just showing the, the side of you that wants to bring in the crowd that doesn't really want to make money. Mm. What about like Jake Paul and Logan Paul? Those guys know how to make money and all they do is well, talk yeah, they're shit. People they're out. Fucking, yeah, <laughs> they're fucking yeah. got their fists up. You know what I mean? I'm too old for that. You think Jake Paul's going to be able to knock out Floyd Mayweather or Logan Paul rather? I think Mayweather's going to get $122 million for <laughs> that company that didn't respect his honor. You think he's going to get yeah. that much fucking money? $122 million? Minimum, right? Boxing's changed. I, I'm a big boxing fan. And um, it's just like, glorified rat race nut jobs you know now I mean? it is yeah we could talk boxing media. all day but i can't i can't freak with today's boxing no no nah, it's not it's not it's not reality it's just like who can i conor mcgregor what do you make a hundred million i have fight. no idea how so much he, he made, fought, he yeah, fought he made a lot right he made, so you got guys that are not really boxers they're like andre the giant and hulk hogan yeah and rocky coming up yeah hmm yeah, it's a different game nowadays. They're all trying to uh, just get more followers, and they're trying to parlay their social media following into boxing. Yeah, what I noticed it like, works. Go, it works though, because yeah, it's, it's like working. it's because it sells tickets, right? Vox is all about selling tickets, isn't it? Everything is. Um, it's all about making money. Who wants to go get knocked out for free? Everything's about entertainment. Yeah, it's all about it's entertainment. Like Mike Tyson when he fought Buster Douglas, he had to go to Japan to fight that one. Did you watch that fight? Of course, I watched all Mike Tyson's fights. Did you? My favorite one was when he beat Michael Spinks in 91 seconds. Michael Spinks beat Larry Holmes twice, and then he came to the he came to the Grim Reaper, <laughs> took him down real quick. Damn, Mike Tyson, savage dude. So what's up, man? What have you been doing? You just, been making money or what? Of course, I just been messing with my um, my new construction. You know, I see that crypto was like a trampoline yesterday. I loved it. You know, you just gotta see what's popping, dump it when it's high, keep coming back. So you you own any right now? Did you buy the dip? I always buy the dip because that's where the paper's at. But the dip keeps getting deeper. Well, when you got a guy like Elon buying. Musk on Saturday Night Live, I'm looking for John Belushi and Gilda Radner. And then I <laughs> see this dude, and I'm like, oh, my God, let me go to sleep. <laughs> Everything is crazy now. You know what I mean? Yeah, he's a fucking weirdo. But you know what? He's the only guy that I know that's never made a dime, and his company's worth, what, 500 a share times five? He did split last year, so he's making, he's making a killing. How's that Tesla stock treating you? I think it's about 550 maybe. Uh, you know, last year before the um after the uh this COVID, I think it dropped to 380. So then um it split five times, so now it's worth 2500 off of last year's price. So I guess it's high. How much but you holding now, a lot? I own a few, but the thing is like I told you from the last time, stocks and Bitcoin and all that, that's like a hobby. Mm -hmm. My thing is real estate. I want to teach people how to make money with real estate. Right. Cuz what else is there? Cattle, gold and real estate. Cattle? What the fuck? Who if makes you, money on cattle? People who have a lot of land in Ocala and they green belt it. They make money on cattle? Of I course. thought Texas was the cattle capital. You know what? And uh, Bill Gates is trying to get rid of cattle. Bill he says Gates. when they fart, it destroys the ozone. Oh, it's, yeah. it's true. I heard that. <laughs> That's true. I, I don't own any cattle, but I, I see cattle. Cattle, real estate, and gold. That's what I think the um, solid investments are. Hmm. What about but trading cards? Baseball cards, of course. Vintage, like I told you the last time. Dr. Newman, he uh, he was a big collector in Tampa. He just died recently. I sold him a lot of cards. Did you? 
Yeah, his car, he's lived on David's side. His father used to own mm -hmm. the largest Rolls Royce collection. So when you see Dr. Newman, when you see his collection, look at his father. He, sold, he owned the largest real, uh, Rolls Royce collection in the history of the world. Damn. Really? Mm -hmm. But, you know, the cards is where the money's at. You know, don't get it twisted with new stuff. You want to stick to the old cards. Ty Cobb, Babe Ruth, Lou Gehrig, Joe DiMaggio, Mickey Mantle, stuff like that. Are you day trading cards or are you holding them long term? Nah, I buy and sell on eBay. I go to the shows. I do what I can. And I like to just, I take a lot of my real estate money and just throw it in the card game. Because the real estate is cool and you make money, but the cards is fun. You buying the NFT cards? Nah, I don't see any value in that. You know, you look at a computer screen and you pay $68 Some million. Some people are making it. a lot of money <laughs> on a, that. It's like a, no, I see that. You know, yeah. that's a, you're like Rob Gronkowski. I mean, that's a heavily, highly manipulated product. I just don't see that making money in the long term. Yeah. I think I think the old cards is where the money's at. Yeah. But real, like I told you, I like to talk about real estate because everybody in the world is involved in real estate. And I like to school people for free. I know a lot of people who make money um, charging thousands of dollars for classes. I mean, you know, the last time we did a we did a little podcast and I, I read the comments and I appreciate everybody's comments. And I've seen a couple of negative comments. I just like to touch that. I've seen one guy was like, hey, look, even if you pay cash, you can't close a house in a day. That's not true. I mean, maybe we could touch on stuff like that. Yeah, we could pull some up. Yeah, definitely, please. So let me tell you how you buy a house in a day for the non-believers. Aiden, there's a, a podcast we did with Brian a couple weeks ago. You can find it. Just Google Brian Aponte Concrete, and you'll find it. Pull up the comments on the TV. Yeah, so basically how you buy a house in one day, a lot of people who deal with real estate, they're not actually closers. They're pretenders because I'll tell you how the real estate game works. There's three type of buyers. <clears throat> you have a buyer, a pretender, and a borrower. So the borrower has to beg daddy to buy the house. So he has to either call a bank or deal with the appraiser to, so he can be allowed. Well, bar let's, I mean, let's be, let's be fair here. Most people are borrowers. Most normal people in well, the real world are yeah, have but, to borrow money from a bank. Yeah, you're you're 100 correct, but we're not talking to about most of the people. We're not talking about the sheep. We're talking. Well, about the, the people that are watching this are most. You have to understand people yeah, that are watching. We school this. them in the game how to make real money. Okay. The next time I come, I'll bring you like a thousand HUDs minimum so you can see what I do. All right. But how you buy a house in one day for the people who don't understand the business, let's pretend that you are a wholesaler and you have a house and a guy, let's pretend you're next door neighbor. What's a wholesaler, first of all? A wholesaler is a guy who's in the business who doesn't want to close. He just wants to assign his contract. So what that means is... Let's pretend this phone is a contract. So you have a house for sale. Mm -hmm. So you want to sell a house for $100,000. Okay. He gets the contract, and he gets, a, he gets an inspection period. Right. So an inspection period, in mm -hmm. other terms, is like, let me get a few days or a couple weeks so I can market your property right. to sell to a real buyer. So they go to a title company, and the title work starts going. They, do the, they, they check for mortgages, they check for liens, and blah, blah, blah. So once the title company tells you, yo, the property's ready to go. So you got a contract for hundred grand, let's just say. Yeah. So you want to push it on the street because you don't have any money. But you want to make money because you brought the deal. Right. So then you come and you push it around the block. You email, blast it. You do whatever you got to do. You're pushing it for 120, 130, whatever you think you could get based on what it's worth. So when that doesn't work, they call a guy like me. Hey, Brian, I got a day left. I got to close it. Where are you closing at? They give me the name of the title company. Send me the title commitment. I look at the title commitment. Boom. All right. Send me the underlining contract. So I look at the underlining contract. I see what they're paying. I see everything. So I go look at it. So in Tampa, Florida, where I live, I know every street in town. So I already know what it's worth before I get there. So you're buying it for 100 And I said, right, cool, I'll give you a buck ten. So it's up to you to sell it to me or not. So you can make ten grand and you didn't really do nothing except put up a deposit. So I call the title company, and I call Candace, who runs my office. Candace, wire the money, get the HUD, boom. So I go in there. I don't even have to go sign. I do DocuSign because I'm a buyer. I'm not a seller, so they don't need a notarized copy. So I buy the house in two, three minutes. Then what I do after I close, I give it to one of my team members so they can repush it. So that is one thing I wanted to see because when I read the comments, I well, Let's look that. at these comments right here. Sure, go right ahead. I mean, these are positive, man. No, this no, man, this man truly understands life no, no, and understand. money. You can tell by the way he talks. One other guy was like, yo, Brian, stop making money. It's all about smelling the roses. I'm 50 years old. I've traveled the whole nation. I've bought and sold it. I've done everything. I've been to NASCAR, World Series, NBA Finals, Championship. Well, you name it, I've done it. So at the end of the day, when I wake up at 4.30 in the morning, what am I going to do? Walk my dog? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, you know, that, I do it, but at the same time, I want to have fun. Yeah, but you're you're addicted to doing this shit. Nah, I'm not really You're addicted. like the guy 
on uh, the what's the fucking movie called with Adam? We talked about it last time without him saying like yeah, gem, so, gem the gemstones. Yeah, exactly. But the problem with that movie is very it's not realistic like we spoke about before. No. The reason it's not realistic, he had some gambling debts, and he had millions of dollars worth of scrap gold he could have scrapped in less than 30 seconds at 98% of scrap. So that movie makes no sense to me. I love how when he got he got that fucking, uh, that big snook delivered to his office, that fish mm -hmm. that was full of uh, full of diamonds, all those rare stones, that one fucking crazy the green stone. Diamonds. The blood diamonds. Mm -hmm. Have you ever seen a blood diamond? Not really, because... When I buy get, cl get closer. Okay. You gotta get closer. When I when I buy diamonds, I usually go to uh, New York. Just the pull, diamond. put this thing in like you in know your what? Lap. Last time I looked like like I was like hunchback. This this sit up straight. All right, you got it. Anyway, so the diamond game is tough because there's more diamonds than people, and the De Beers company they own all the diamonds, so it's like a hush hush game. Yeah. And then most of the diamonds that are retail are trash because the the best diamond obviously is a FLD color, flawless, colorless. But the diamond game is tough because you gotta have you gotta have buyers, and that's a job. Mm. It's not like real estate. Real estate it sells everywhere. Diamond sells to select people. Mm. Yeah, everybody everybody can buy real estate. Everybody needs real estate. Mm -hmm. The one thing you can't. Well, I don't know. Diamonds are weird because I don't understand it quite. I don't really understand it because it's the De Beers company. They they manipulate it or they somehow control. It's not like a. It's not like a. They stockpile them and they slowly release yeah, they, them. Yeah, they push them slowly. The thing is, there's a call. The thing called wrap a, a wrap report. So it's like a wholesale thing on what the diamonds are worth. Anything over a carat, which is an FL flaws D, that has a high value. And then you have different colors, different cuts. Mm. So, but the diamond game is like so super exposed. And you got every rapper, movie star in the game trying to like out floss each other. You even got people putting diamonds in their heads. Yeah. It's at the point now, it's just like, yeah, I'm not with this no more. It doesn't even make sense. That's it's why I keep, like I told you, I mess with the baseball cards yeah. and the real estate. Because the baseball cards are extremely rare. And the real yeah. estate is, is, is a commodity that The they most use. expensive one's that guy from Pittsburgh, right? In. From the Pirates. That... that most expensive oh, baseball about Honus card. Wagner. Yeah, Wagner, there's, actually yeah, one, yeah. there's actually one for sale. The reason is because he didn't believe in tobacco, and that's a T206 card. But you're extremely correct. That's the rarest card. There's actually a yeah. couple up for sale. Yo, this guy in the comments says, I know a guy, won't mention his name, he uses banks. Well, a lot of people use banks. But I'm going to tell you the, the reason why I personally don't use banks. You mean I use owner finance, but I'm going to tell you why I don't use banks. It's like this. If you look at my track record, right, and you see that I bought thousands of houses, but I bought them in a day and sold them the same day, I pushed them to hedge funds. It's like this. Let's say I'm buying a house that's worth... $200,000. By the time a bank gives me that loan, I already got it sold because I got to go get an appraisal. I got to get a survey. Who has time for that? Mm -hmm. And if you got money in the bank to, to copy, who cares? Because mm -hmm. you're already trying to repush it. You know what I'm saying? If you're going to buy it and retail it, I mean, those days are over. Yeah. You're a different breed though, bro. Well, you have to be a different breed. If you're like everybody else, you ain't going to get nowhere. Yeah, that's true. But no one can, not everybody can be like you, man. Everybody can, hustling. Not everybody can Everybody can be, can like be a hustler, though. See, a lot of people hustle different things. Some people hustle fish. They, they go fishing, they pump the fish on the block. Some people hustle retail. You know, they sell cars. Some people hustle fur coats back in the day before, you know, the, the, the people started shaking because it's not completely correct. Mm -hmm. yeah. But everything has a dollar trade value. Some people hustle drugs. Yeah, B, I never get into that because it doesn't make sense. There's less money in that, and you're going to do a bid. Everybody's yeah. going to get busted. Yeah. That's true. But the bottom line is, if you want to make money, you have to have a good eye for what's out there. At the same time, you have to know who your client is, mm -hmm. and you have to know how to buy. Because like I told you from the rip, you only make money when you buy. You only realize when you sell. Hmm. So what's the, what's the best way... If because right now the real estate market's fucking crazy, you go if you see a house for sale and you are interested and you want to go look at it, the day it goes on the market, there's probably are going to be ten offers on that house. So mm -hmm. how do you get the fuck? How do you get the deal when there's so much competition for the deal? Because you have to remember when it's up for sale, it's already with a real estate agent. When it's with a real estate agent, it's already retail. Because and then they're going to shoot for highest and best. And if you have a, if you're a FHA buyer or if you're a um, conventional loan buyer, they're going to look at you last. They only want to deal with cash buyers because right. they want to get out of there. Right. They don't want right. to fix it. They don't want to do nothing. But the problem is, like, if you're in the city limits and you sell your house now, the odds of you moving back are very, very low mm -hmm. because the houses are going to go up 
30 to 50 percent next year and i'll tell you why if you want to know yeah why well, yeah i definitely want to know well because you have the liberal communists in office right now and what they're looking to do is take 1031 exchanges away so basically what a 1031 exchange is let's say you buy a apartment building for 10 million dollars or how, whatever and then you reflip it and then you take that money and put it into a similar product they're trying to take that away because they want to eat your money. We said, why the f explain? Well, they want to tax you on it. Explain. I understand what a 1031 exchange is. I mean, mm -hmm. it makes a lot of sense. It makes a lot of sense for people that are employing ridiculous amounts of people to be able to to do that to to roll your your profit into new deals without paying tax on it. It makes sense as an incentive for people but that are always remember you're always paying tax no matter what. Right? Right, no, no, I, I pay that hundreds of thousands of dollars a year in real estate taxes. No, yeah, for sure. I, I completely understand how it works. You're, you're paying a shitload of tax. You're paying tons of payroll taxes for all your employees. When you're running that big of an operation, it's a, it makes sense as an incentive to incentivize the people that have the balls to take those risks mm -hmm. to buy those big ass fucking deals. So why would they want to remove that incentive? What well, is the what is well, the logic? I'm personally not a political person, and the reason is because that doesn't make me money. It just causes enemies. Because there's people on both sides of the fence trying to fight you. But I'll tell you my opinion. The reason they need the money to pay for what they're with, you know, all the things that's happening. But I'm going to tell you why. My thing is about real estate. I'm going to tell you why the houses are going to go up, and you could take this to the bank. We are in hyperinflation right now. If you ever, if you go out to eat, no matter what, you go with your girl, you get a drink, no matter what, it's the worst place in Tampa or in St. Pete, whatever, you're going to drop $100 minimum. And they want to raise the minimum wage to $15. So you know what they did? So what they did was they started paying $300 a week plus $275. So that's $575 a week. And if you make $15 an hour times 40 hours, it's $600 minus taxes and shit, blah, blah, blah. So you're making more money to stay at home. So basically you're forcing a minimum wage hike. Right. So now the real estate is a capital gains. When you buy and sell real estate, you make capital gains. Not you're not working a job. So if they raise the capital gains and they eliminate 1031 exchanges, nobody who has any brains or cash is going to sell anything. What they're going to do is they're going to build. They're going to rent. They're going to refinance. Mm. They're going to take all their equity out and they're going to rent Airbnb or they're right. going to rent to regular Section 8 because Section 8 is going to go up. You know, Section 8, you know, where people get paid to live yeah. for nothing. Mm -hmm. So all these all these rents are going to skyrocket, and the real estate will go up because you'll have less real estate to sell. Mm. That makes sense. That makes total yeah, sense. Yeah, well, that's where the market's at. But you want to be in the city limits. The money is always in the city. Here was a guy over here. I just want to say, a guy said, I live in a $400,000 house. He doesn't even know where I live because 99% of my assets are in trusts. I just found that funny. He said what? Some guy in a comment said that I live in a four hundred thousand house. Yeah. My funny thing is, how does this guy know where I live? Right. It's irrelevant, but I just found that funny. <laughs> Do you live in a four hundred thousand dollars? Well, house? I got a three thousand square foot house on a lake in a good neighborhood. And keep I scrolling. I, but, yo, the guy who said that, I want to buy a hundred of those for six hundred thousand. Bring them. Yeah, Hell I'm a yeah. cash buyer. Hurry up. Anyway, I just wanted to touch on that. This. This the type of guy who rips you off and then disrespects you after. Is well, that first true? of all, I don't rip anybody off because I'm going to tell you straight up and down. When I do a deal, I'm not going to call you on the phone. I'm going to look straight in your eyes. I'm going to look at your soul and I'm going to shake your hand. I'm going to give you the money that you want. It's either this, you want my bread or you want your product. It doesn't matter to me because if you don't want to sell, this other guy will sell to me. Mm. And when you want to sell to me, go shop it around because if you give it to a wholesaler, they're going to call me back anyway. I think you need a vodka. I've already had about 40 today. Here. I'll take one. Why not? There, here's I actually here's drink some ice. Grey Goose. Yeah, why not? Let's get there. I'll get you some. I'm sorry. Aiden, I'm keep juice. scrolling a little bit. Yeah. Um, I got, if you like, this is uh, this yeah, is no, sparkling water. No, you straight, want, you yeah, no, it? I like this sparkling water. It's good, right? Liquid death. Liquid Love death. death. Murder your thirst. Murder it. <laughs> got to murk them. They got good slogans. Yeah, it's always about that catchphrase, right? Mm hmm. Right, anyway, holla at me. What else we got? What else we got? Let's see. Wow, what an incredible interview. This man has so much knowledge. I really hope there's a part two of this interview. Well, Today's your lucky day. Well, exactly. So basically what I would like to do is I would like for you to ask me questions how I could school people how to make money. Okay, right. listen to this. Because in reality, the most important thing about any of this is for people to make money. Well, check it out. I mean, we got to make it We gotta, We gotta. gotta make it for like the average, the average yeah, working man. Yeah, so what man. if you don't have the money to put up? Look at this guy. Let, let's, use him, let's use him as a test example. I love his herringbone chain. It's about nine grams. <laughs> it came out like in 1983. He has How my grandma's he, chain. It has okay. the crab lobster lock. Where? Mm -hmm. Let me see it. 
It's a gam's chain. What's it called? Herringbone? Herringbone. Yeah, they stopped making them in the 80s because they would crimple up, mm-hmm. and then the hair on your chest would get crimple when you take it off would burn you. Does that do that to you? Oh, yeah, it gets caught on the chest hair all the time. Damn. Mm-hmm. I don't fuck with chains. If I do, I'll get the Cuban link, though. I get it. Cuban links are the best. They are the best, bro. All right, let's use him for an example. He okay. wants to buy a house. All right. Tell him how he can buy it. So ask him some questions. Do you want to buy to live there? Or you want to buy to make money? What are you looking to do? Well, I need to buy somewhere to live for sure, but I'd like to make some money. All right. So what I suggest is um, buy a lot mm-hmm. and build it because you're going to make money. Because think about it. If I'm buying lots and building and I'm making 30, 40 percent of my money. So wouldn't it be better for you to do the same thing? Well, don't we have to don't we have to start like start from like, first of all, where does he get the money to buy the lot? Well, my point is, if you have like a job and you could get a loan, but let's yeah. pretend you're broke and you're a bum. Okay. And you're driving a 1989 S1 S10 pickup. <laughs> yeah. And you're pushing a lawnmower. Mm-hmm. All right. So what you need to do is, you know, you need to learn the value of the houses. And how you, I, well, I tell everybody, you know how you get in the game? You ever see them, them signs on the street, we'll pay cash for your house? Yeah. Those guys know more about real estate than anybody. Problem is they ain't got no money. And you know why they They're know? They're just middleman in it, right? Because the middleman knows everything. Right. He knows the value. He knows the, the retail value. He knows. So you need to school him. You need to get in his head. Yeah. You need to tell him, yo, look, I seen your sign. What do you got? So he gives you the address. If you don't know the address, tell him, okay, why do you think I should buy this? So you want to eat his brain why you should buy what he got, right? Mm-hmm. So then you go over there and then you understand. All right, let me look up comps. Let me look at Zillow. Let me see why this is what it is. Yeah. All right. So then when you know what's the deal, when you know the retail value and you know what it needs to get fixed, you know what to pay. So then you ask him, hey, look, even if you don't have anything for sale, say, guess what? I'm selling the house Mm -hmm. where you know what? My grandmother, she got a house and she wants to give it to me. So now he's shaking because he's dying to rob you. So now he's going to give you his time. So you need to learn from people who know what they're doing. So once you know to hustle, Mm -hmm. then you could get into the game. That's what I would tell you from the rip. Like if I didn't know, yeah, anything. I like that. If that's I'm a, if I'm flipping burgers evidence. at Wendy's, yeah, and I and I want to get in the game, I'm gonna call somebody like that. Yeah, with the little Could signs call on me. the side of the road. But I I'm see saying, those yeah, all the of time. course. Could always holler at me. I'll school you any day of the week for free. Hell yeah. But that's what I would do. I would try to understand what's happening, how I could get in there, and then I would try to get my credit right. You know yeah. what I mean? Because if you're gonna buy, because right my now the interest rate's like up. three, four percent, which is very low. You know what I'm saying? So, and then the bank will lend you money, FHA, because they want you to get in the game. They want people to own houses. <clears throat> so that's what I would do. FHA, the FHA, they're pushing those hard. Of course, because they want home ownership. Right. And what's the what's the deal with FHA? Isn't it, isn't the uh, well? First the of all, I don't really deal with are, that. I don't deal with that. I know. But I'm I know saying you don't. if you want to get in the game and you ain't got no money, right. You got to figure out a way to get in the game. Mm-hmm. It's like anything in life. You got to figure out if you go to a bar and you see a shorty, a dime piece, how am I going to, how am I, I going to hook up with this chick? You got to have some game, right? Mm-hmm. Cause if you ain't got, got game, she's going to bounce with somebody else. Right. But isn't, aren't the uh, inspections for FHAs way stricter? They are, but at the same time, you have to understand real estate is going up by the month. Mm-hmm. The real estate's going up two, 3% a month now. So you got to, you got to jump in the game and then figure it out. So where's it going? What, what, when's it going to crash? That's my question. Well, I don't think the real estate's going to crash. I'm going to tell you why. Because we're in a hyperinflation. We're printing money by the trillions. The United States government cannot afford to pay the debt. So the Federal Reserve is keeping the interest rates very low, close to zero. So that's the reason why people want to own. Because the rents are sky high. And it's like, it's, it's like, you know, people are like sheep. They think, oh, my God, my brother bought a crib. He's dead broke. You know, he bought it in 2018. <laughs> now he got 100 Gs in equity. I'm over here sitting on a 1992 Chevy S10, like I told you before. <laughs> my girl's doing three jobs. I got to sell my Timex. I'm fucked. People are Excuse like Excuse my sheep, language. Bro. I'm done. So you want to get in the game. What other game yeah, are you going to get into? Right. So that's where the money. You're right, at. man. You're right. The real estate is the fastest way to get paid, you unless you know how, how to manipulate stocks or or Coinbase, and that Coinbase is is like so volatile. You know, you're, you by the time you go home, you're gonna drink a bottle of Johnny Black because you can't afford the blue. <laughs> you feel me? Yeah. <laughs> that's just what it is. Hell yeah! Got uh, me motivated, bro. Real estate is the key to your problems. Believe me. 
You just got to get that down payment, baby. That that three yeah, per, that three percent even, no, down owner payment. Owner finance, owner. Look, when I try to buy houses, big money shit, like a million, two million, I, I try to leverage the buyer. Look, I'm selling a property for three point eight million dollars. The guy signed a contract to close in eighteen months. So what do I do? I got to play the game. He wants to stick me for my paper. I got to make him give me 30, 40, 50 Gs a month to me on the deposit. I'm making big money on the product, but I could afford to sell it because I don't need the money. But when you deal with people who have houses that are beat up, another way, I'm going to tell you another way to get in the game. Let's pretend you see, you're driving down the street, see a house, the roof is shot, the grass is high. Try to call the owner. Yo, what's up? You want to sell me this crib? All right, cool. I'll lease option it. This way you could control the asset with little money on that paper, little money out of hand. The name of the game of anything in life is to control the asset. Once you control it, you're in charge, then you make money. What the fuck's a lease option? Is that, is that like rent to own? Exactly. So let's pretend I got a house and I don't want to deal with it. I live in Canada or I live in Jersey and I got this house and I don't want to deal with it, right? And I know I paid 150000 in 2015. And right. I look at Zillow, two sixty. <laughs> oh, let me get with this. Let me see what this guy's talking about. All right, what do you want to give me? Two forty. All right, cool. I'm thinking I need a roof. I need a kitchen. I shit. I gotta drop a hundred stacks in this piece. Yeah, why not take it? And I'll do a deal with you where I think I'm getting over on you. Like, yo, give me a G a month. Deal with it, and you fix it. You do whatever you gotta do. So your job is to figure out how can I wholesale this. So you call the guy on the street. Yo, peep this. I got this crib. What will you give me? So if he'll give you two twenty, you tell the owner. Yo, I can sign a lease option for like 200 i need help i got kids i'm hungry sign a lease option i i i lease it for 12 months at this price and i have an assignable assignable it's very important this way you could flip the paper to him so you make 20 g's you didn't do shit now you're rolling if you got 20 g's in your pot let you ever play poker chip in a chair oh yeah. that's all you need when you in the booth when you on deck whatever you got as long as you got a little mm -hmm. strut of hope with game and knowledge you're good Mm. You ever see that in, that movie that that TV show? This guy's my dude? mentor. Nah, it's not a mentor. It's about reality. You gotta <sighs> focus on reality. You know what it is? A lot of people I talk to, Danny. You know what it is? It's like this. Oh, I do this. I do this. Yo, I don't hear. I don't care about excuses, Daddy. I get up at four in the morning. I'm good and I'm rich. I'm paid. The fuck I gotta get up at four? Why? Because I gotta eat. Because if I ain't eating, I'm I'm I'm, do I'm dumping. Because there's nothing in life. You know? You ever see like when somebody's dying, their hearts and you see that flat line? Mm -hmm. Nothing in reality is flatline except death. It's either going up or going down. You got to try to figure out a way to play that middle. Mm -hmm. Lease option, ball game. Bro, like and that. you know how I make a lot of money? Non-qualifying, assumable mortgage. You want me to school you on that? Yeah. Because I'm going to school people on this. They're going to flip out. What's it called again? Non-qualifying, assumable mortgages. Okay. So let me tell you how this works. So I bought a property in Tampa, Florida. I'm not going to give you the address because... I could if I want to, but I let them holler at me. So I bought a property in January 7th, 2020, pre-COVID. Mm -hmm. It was 1.8 acres of dirt on Armenia Avenue, mm -hmm. right? It was two folios. So I gave the lady 825 Gs. I gave her 170,000 down, right? So I had a non-qualifying assumable mortgage with a three-year, a five-year balloon at 3% interest only. I'm gonna tell you what that means. So, you know, when you go get a loan, they want to check your credentials. They want to see where you work. They want to mm -hmm. check your credit. Yeah. Yeah. They want to see if you could afford the mortgage. So how I do it, let's say I'm buying off Danny, right? Mm -hmm. Danny, I'm going to buy this house off you for 300000 Here's 100000 down. So the 100 Gs is ringing bells in their head because you're already studying the seller. The place is junk. They ain't got no money to fix it. They owe back taxes. They're hit. They're done. You feel me? And no person could get a retail loan on this dump because they can't afford to fix it. Right. So the only other people that are going to come in are cash crooks. Mm -hmm. They're going to yeah. want to pay her two something, right? So how I come in is I look at the land. If I could split the dirt and do something else with that dirt and I got a non-qualifying paper, I'm going to eat on both sides. I'm going to eat in the front and the back. And I'm going to eat in the middle, too, and I'll show you how to do that. So anyway, getting back to this. I give you 100 on 300, right? So you give me I, – I create a mortgage – and I give, I try to get interest only. Interest only is always the best for short term flips. Because think about it, if you're borrowing two hundred, yeah, but it's hard to get interest only loans, bro. Yeah, but I'm not dealing with a bank. I'm dealing with yeah, the this seller. Is, this is you. You but can I'm get interest only. You, I'm gonna school you for free. I'm gonna tell you how to do. It. I'm gonna tell you who to but target. But you're acting like I can actually go to the bank and get interest only. But, who, but hold me, on a second. Why do you keep mentioning banks? 
Why would you ever mention a bank? The person that's lending me the money is the seller. Uh -huh. Oh, the seller's lending you the money. Of course. Okay. The seller, draw it up. Listen to me. The seller. But this seller's broke. He ain't got no money. Yeah, but I'm already looking. I'm win two data. I'm going. I'm looking at their. I'm looking to see if they got mortgages. Okay. So I'm already working with the seller. You feel me? So if this guy got a piece of garbage that he wants three hundred or four hundred, I'm gonna try to get it where I could put a little money out of my pocket, and they give me the mortgage. They become the note holder. Okay. The seller becomes the note holder. Okay. You understand me yeah, now? I understand. You. I have many deals like this. This deal I'm selling, I, I, the seller's a no holder. So look, you get the seller to hold the note. Okay. And how you do a non qualifying assumable mortgage is like this. So wait, hold on, hold on. Sure, Sorry, go ahead. I, I'm f I'm retarded. But I'm gonna school you on it. I know, no, no. But I'm gonna ask fifth grade questions. Ask kindergarten questions. All right, kindergarten question. This is this is. This may sound dumb, but if it's a non qualifying assumable loan, so this guy owns this house for three hundred grand. He owns it free and clear. The seller has no debt. What if the seller does have a loan? But though? then I have to give him enough down to pay his debt off. Okay. I have to understand his debt. Okay. So okay. So if he doesn't have a loan on the house, mm -hmm. you're paying him monthly, and he's holding the note. Exactly. He's okay. my mortgage holder. Okay. So what non qualifying assumable? The, you want me to tell you why I do that? So if I want to, if I buy it from you, and I want to sell it to him. He doesn't need to qualify for this mortgage because my seller mm -hmm. is holding a note for me and I'm allowed to throw that note on anybody I want. You could be doing a bit in prison. I could give it to you. You could be Mickey Mouse. It don't matter. I'm gonna let, <laughs> you're going to take my mortgage over. You get it? So I'm buying it for you for 300 and I'm giving you 100 G's down. I'm out of pocket like $105,000 because I'm going to pay net to seller. Because right. most of these people, they don't want to pay closing costs. Okay. So I'm going to pay the doc stamps, the title insurance, blah, blah, blah. Right? right. The only thing they're going to pay is the back taxes. Right. So I'm going to buy the property. So now I'm going to push it on the block. But I already know I'm going to sell it. Otherwise, I ain't going to buy it. I already know I could redump it to somebody right. else. Right, right, right. Okay? So I stepped to him. I'm like, look, Joe, just give me 375 Give me a buck 75 down. Take over this 200 3% interest only. Amortized over 20 years. If they want to do principal and interest, you want a heavy amortization because you want that payment to be low. So you can rent it or do what you got to do with little bread out of your pocket. You understand? Mm -hmm. All right. So then you repush it. You make your money and you walk. That's better than paying cash because now you can leverage your money multiple times. Do you understand what I'm saying? Kind of. Okay, look, you own the house. No, no, I get. I mean, I get the part where I get the part where you gave the guy a hundred. It's mm -hmm. it's worth three hundred. You got it's worth five hundred. I'm giving him three because a piece of garbage that needs work. Right. And I already know I could push it to him for three seventy five, and he don't got he don't got all the bread because he don't want to go to a hard money lender. Right. Because I told you before, it's hard to make money with hard money because right. they're gonna hit you with two three points. Right. And they're gonna want twelve percent. Right. Right. And they're right. gonna want a year balloon. Meanwhile, you can't even get it done in a year. So you need to have control. So I'm going to get you to give me a loan where I can hold, you can hold my paper and I can flip it to this dude. Okay. And how's this dude buying it? Cash? No, he's going to give me the 175, 375. My 100 I put down plus another 75. So I just made 75 on 100. Oh, shit. And I'm out. Shit. Now you deal with and the he headache. Takes over and now, the they're, exactly. now they're just assuming okay. they'll Yeah, he's taking oh, my note. Now he's dealing with her. Oh, that's simple. Whatever. That's simple, bro. You. Exactly. Yeah, Let yeah, me yeah. tell you another way. I hey, one, one second. Go ahead. Aiden, is he in frame right now? Yeah. Okay. I'm, just making right, sure this. I'm gonna blood. tell you another way I used to make money. I used to buy junkers for like. Let's just say I buy a piece of junk house. You can't do this no more because the market's changed. Right. But I used to hold paper too. So I buy this house for 50 G's, right? So I, I buy it for 50. I sell it to you for 75. Mm -hmm. I just made 50 percent, right? Yeah. Wrong. Here's why. I bought it for 50. I sold to him for 75. Mm -hmm. He gives me 20 G's down, right? So he owes me 55, but I'm going to charge him five points. Mm -hmm. So he's going to give me another $2,750 for points. So he's going to owe me $57,500 at 12%. But I only got really 30 G's in this. So you, he owes me 57.5 on 30 at 12%. It's so a point a month. So now he's paying me another 575. You understand me so far? Yeah. So then I go and sell this first note. I sell this first note to a mortgage buyer. I'm like, yo, he owes me 57 5 12 percent. Give me 55. So I sell it to the mortgage. I sell it to now I'm done. And I just made do the numbers. 55 plus 25 plus I made 20 some G's basically on nothing. 
Because I sold him the crib and I dumped the mortgage. That's some slick fucking shit, well, That's how you got to do it. You got to know how to push the paper. Ah, then, what you all, then also you got to do is you got to learn how to buy houses with double lots. Because right now, my money's in land. Yeah. I bought a property the other day for two hundred forty-five thousand dollars, three acres in Tampa. I got it. I tore the house down. I got an S one variant to get sixty houses on it, apartments. God. Now I'm dumping it for nine hundred. I'm in it for three. Yeah, some lots though you can't. Mm. They won't even let you split. I no. tried buying a lot a couple months ago, and they were saying I was trying because it was huge. And I wanted to build two houses on. I'm like, I can build two houses on this, like, triple my money, quadruple my money. Like, oh, I call the county. Nope, not allowed to split it. But you have to understand the future land use, and you have to understand. So look, like I don't really know much about this because I live in Tampa, and everything I do is mostly in Tampa. Yeah. So they have There's RS50. There's still some land out there, too. Ver yes, exactly. Not over here, though. But look, like in Safety Harbor, I'm looking at a house. Guy's got a motel, eight doors with a little cottage. He wants 1.2. I offered him a mill with 500 down, and he's like, nah, 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 I'm not with this. All right, give me, I, but whatever. My point is, if I buy that, I'll get back to what I'm talking about because I know I'm, I'm off track. But look. The way to make money is you have to understand how to split the land. Once you buy the land, you split it, and then they have future land use. So let's pretend the highest density is CMU 35. Let's just pretend. The commercial use, 35 per acre. So that means every acre you could put 35 doors, right? So there's a big necessity right now for affordable housing because there's so many broke people. The government needs to pay to build. And they got all these tax credits. I'm selling a house. This guy right this property. He's gonna get tax credits to pay for it for free. And 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 the guy's like, he's talking to my realtor. Why he don't do that? I pay. I, I'm making money. I don't care about all that. I'm not looking. I don't want my legacy. Tell my kids, yo, peep this. Daddy made money because the government paid me. What are you bugging? What's wrong with that, bro? Because I'm not with that. Why? Because I, like, I like to get my money on the grind. You feel me? So it motivates you. Of course. I'm not looking for a welfare check. Yeah. You ever see that movie with... Um, with Fuck them. Take it, nah, man. Nah, I'm not with that. I'm not with that. You know why? Because let's pretend you're on your deathbed and you got all your peeps with you, right? Yeah. And like, Yo, remember we did this? Yeah, you remember the Section 8 paid me? You remember I got a free check? Who's going to look at you like <laughs> you the boss? Use a stunt dummy. Remember we got that Trump but check? But yeah. you feel me though? The way the way I look at it is like this. How can I figure it out? How could I how could I game the game? Yo, what do you think about Trump? I love Donald Trump. Do you? Of course. He's What's a man. your favorite part about him? He's just ill with it. He'll tell you what time it is. He's either it's like this, bro. Look, I'm a billionaire because one dude called him a millionaire on CNN like 20 years ago. He sued him. Yo, don't don't he sued him for calling course. him a fucking oh, millionaire. That's who I am, Daddy. I'm a mil I'm a billionaire. That's next don't level. Holler back at me. I'd like to sue someone, please. Yeah. <laughs> no, but Pete, this the reason I like Donald Trump. He don't he don't care. It's like, yo, look, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do it, and I don't need your help. I'm, I'm not I'm not no broke little dog that's gonna whistle to little whistle and all y'all gonna tell me what to do. I'm gonna do me. Yeah, he's you definitely, he's definitely he in his own fucking wants. lane, yeah. man. I'm pretty sure when people hear me, oh my God, this guy, this, blah, blah, blah. You think I give a shit what people say about me? Because, I look, we was in the bail bonds game, and I didn't care what nobody You know why? Because I'm selling freedom. I'm in the real estate game. I'm buying your <laughs> crib. Daddy, I got bread. Ain't nobody canceling me. Come holler back. Daddy, he canceled me. What you going to cancel me from? Stacks of bread? Come on, daddy. <laughs> Where you at? Feel me? So the reason I love Donald Trump, he tell you what it is. The reason I don't like Joe Biden, because he saw, he's the type of dude, hit him like this, look, he going to get knocked out real quick. Feel me? He's soft. He might die. Come Bro. on, daddy, he's soft. What it is, is you got all these liberal communists trying to eat, oh, let's see what retard we could toss up in this piece for like a, like a stunt dummy. Like that could, like, yeah, that's what it is, daddy, straight up. If you about that money, you about getting bread, Bro. Let me tell you something. When I was when I was a little kid, I lived by three rules. Don't beg nobody for nothing. Never fear nobody. And number three, don't ever do anything that you're not going to say. If you say you're going to do it, do it. And when I look at the world right now, I'm like, oh, my God, I don't even understand. Like, I can't even have Mother's Day because we can't even have a he or she. You feel me? Yeah. I'm like, bro, what time is this? It's crazy. I'm not feeling this. It is but what I am time. feeling is all the money they're throwing in the economy. Let's let's just dump paper in here. Bring the paper, daddy. I'm coming to get it. You feel <laughs> me? Because think about it like this. If you got six dudes in a room and five of them know how to get bread and one of them is like, yeah, like, 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 well, he going to get stuck for his bread immediately. You feel me? Mm -hmm. He don't know. If you don't know what you're doing, you're going to get rocked straight up.
Bro, how did you become so fucking crazy? Because I'm an animal, daddy. I yeah. come from the streets of Jersey. I was the oldest what one. What was your my- childhood like? Well, my father was my father was a garbage man, and he bought and sold anything. You feel a me? Garbage man. Exactly. My father was a garbage <laughs> man, and then my mother worked in a bakery. You know what I'm saying? And then I went to a Catholic school. Why? Who knows? I don't, I don't want to be in no Catholic school. I'd rather be on the block busting knuckles. But hey, you know what? That's what they did. And then on top of that, my uncle, my cousin Toby's dad, he was the one who put me on. You feel me? What did he put you on to? Like the game, dog. I was 10 years old working in a hardware store. So my father was from Puerto Rico, born in 1949, died when I was 18 years old. My mother- Your father died when you were 18? Yes. So my mother, her family came from Germany. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let, me. let me holler at you real quick. So peep this. My mother's grandmother, you could smoke up in this piece? It's just vape. Oh, okay, it's just cool. a vape. No, 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 no I get it. I get it. So, I my wish. mother's my mother's family, right? So, my mother's grandmother, her husband, and her mother got killed the same day in a concentration camp. No, in Germany, straight up and down. Damn. Feel me? So they came here in in, in Jersey, uh, in New York, in Ellis Island. Boom. So my mother was pregnant. I, my mother was 16 years old when I was born. My father was 19 years old. Feel me? And my great-grandfather, who's my, my grandmother's second husband who brought her, he was born in 1895. Petro Strabish. I was born in 1970. So this dude, 75 years old, raising me. Cleaning pennies. You feel me? A growing um, carrots, cucumbers. And then in my father's family, we got my uncle, my dad. These are like old school dudes, you feel me, from Puerto Rico, fighting roosters over there. They were doing cock fights? Yeah, and Jer- look, I got cock right here. Look, peep this. Well, let me see it. Boricua flag with a cock right there. Hang on, <laughs> pull it, put it closer to the mic. Yeah, you feel me? This is old school. Damn. All right. Yeah, right here, look, look at these tags. What does that is say that, right there? It's a fucking Puerto Rican yeah, 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 flag yeah, chicken? What does it say right here? Paper hold, hold chaser. Up, hold yeah, up. paper chaser. You paper know why? Chaser. I've been chasing papers since the day I was born. This right here is self-made. I hey, come, careful the tripod. Yeah, the tripod. feel me? I come from zero. I've been, yo, nobody ever gave me nothing. The day my father died, left me debt. But that was a real ass dude. He straight up and down. Nobody fuck with him. Real shit. So my point is, in life, if you want to get it, get it. You got to go nobody, get if it. If you need welfare or some shit like that, you got to be out. I can't fuck with you. Straight up. There's no way I can fuck with you. Because if you about that loot, you got you got to leave by exam. I get up at 4 o'clock in the morning. I'm already hitting dudes up. Yo, what's good? Where you at? Because if you ain't with me and you ain't going to bang with me, I ain't going to bang with you. I got bread. I got paper. I got the whole nine. Come get it. Holler at me. Stick me for what I got. Where you at? In the game of life, if you ain't about that grind, if you ain't with that hustle, you never going to get it. That's why I told you I don't deal with banks. Because when I step to a <clears> bank... All right, cool. What you got? Here's my ten. Here's my ten thirty one. Boom. I mean, here's a ten o three. I I got the dough. I got the credit. Boom, bro. By the time I'm dealing with this herb that works for the bank, making sixty G's a year, draw it up. He's making a G a week. I spend that in a bar in two days. If if on a bad week, <laughs> can't freak with him. So I'm gonna let this herb rock determine my destiny. What are you bugging? I need to determine my own destiny. You gotta go get it. Of course, Daddy. That's what. That's what's up. If I can't do me, I don't need him. Cause I, and then the same thing with when I tell you when I do loans. I, I how the hell am I gonna let an appraiser who makes four hundred dollars on appraisal determine my deal when he don't even know where he at? You slip the appraiser some a little backhanded deal. You slip him a little hundo. Nah, hell no. I don't do backhand. I, yo, straight up. I hey, you say, yeah, yo, appraiser, bro. Hey, 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 hey. Make no, this honestly, shit appraise, okay? Like, I like the way you trying to holler at me. I don't come crooked like that. I don't do nothing illegal. Because in reality, if I gave you a million dollars, that's not going to phase me at all. I do my shit straight. I don't give nobody. I don't wash pigs. Let pigs do them. Feel me? I don't need to deal with them. Pigs get fat, hogs get slaughtered. Yeah, yeah. You down? Who you down with? With uh, Scarface? But you feel me? I'm not with that. Here's her, here's how I am. I school you on the deal. I'm gonna look you right in your throat, Daddy. I suck your soul out. Where you at? Feel me? Is either you with me or against me? Cause I guarantee you, if you ain't gonna flip me your stizzy, I'm gonna come get you. Cause I'm gonna see who you gonna sell it to. I'm gonna look up on public records what you owe, who you with. I'm gonna get you anyway. You feel me? Because yeah. that's what it is. Because I don't need to grease a pig. I don't need nothing from nobody. I'm already paid. I do this shit for fun. You want me to get crazy, daddy? Let's get there. I wish I could smoke a new port up in this piece. I know, me I'll too. I'll pay the rent. Where you at? Give me a stove. It was the guy up on the roof. The guy on the roof. I pay him rent. 
Oh, yeah, where, that peaked out with the blower. Yeah, we can buy this motherfucker. How much is he? Let's call him. Let's call him right now. I like that dude. Aiden. Yo, I like that couch, Daddy. Where you at? Aiden, turn that oh, Bluetooth. We picked that up at There's the a Bluetooth store. channel on there. But why can't we smoke a stoke up in this piece? That's what why I've been about saying. To get rid of these? There's a slider that has a Bluetooth logo on top. It's a it's one of the fucking volume sliders, but you see it? One Yo, but the, I like your man though, trying to catch me slipping. He's right. trying to see Yo, what you got going on. Day of my life. He thinks you got something on the back end going Bro, Daddy, on. Hold like it's too good on, to be true. Come on. I deal with real soldiers. No, you can tell you're cousin, hustling for Toby. it. I deal with my barber, D barber, the illest barber in the country. I deal. Yo, my son is iller than me. My son owns more real estate than I do. How old's your son? 28 years old. I deal, I deal with my wife owns a real estate title. Excuse me. She owns a title company, and I don't even close there because she's too legit to quit. Feel me? Mm -hmm. I got my other daughter, Destiny, got two kids. Scoot a little bit to your right. Scoot, right. scoot, no, okay. that way. I'm sorry. Okay, you're left. Cool. You're left. Right. Yes, now scoot into the table. All right. No, you're good. No, just, just like get like straight on with that mic. Like just get like straight on like this. This way more. <laughs> Bro, this every way time more. I holler at right this there, dude, right there, right it's there. like yo, I feel like hey, I, you like, should give the guests this mic where they can move. Nah, nah, the I'm cool. Be, I'm cool. Around. Just keep hollering at me. All right, we're gonna call. Put put your headphones on. We're gonna All call right. the owner of this building right now. You're gonna try to buy the building. All right, cool. No doubt, let's do it. <laughs> God, I hope you buy it. We could smoke Newports in here. Oh, I know. He won't let us fucking smoke cigarettes. He won't let us smoke weed. He won't let us smoke, smoke nothing weed in, in here, bro. I smoke go. outside. They complain about it the next day. Work. I got properties in Florida and Tampa. We could do this. Can you hear it? I won't even charge you rent. Really? Mm. Why not? Now we're talking. <sighs> we got to talk to this How much guy? is your rent up in here? Yo, Forrest. Yeah. You're is live. This, would, you, uh, would you ever consider selling this building? Yeah, probably for the right price. Oh, he always would for the right price. All right, I got my boy Brian here. He's a real estate hustler, and he wants to talk to you about a deal. Forrest, what's up, brother? Hey. How are you today? Hello, Forrest. Hey, hey, what what's up? We're on, yeah, we're talking to Brian, bro. He wants to talk to you about real estate. So, okay. Forrest, I'm over here doing a live interview with your man, Danny. Good people. We're not really live. This is a oh, Patreon podcast. Uh, whatever it is. You know what I mean? So, he told me you own this property, and I, and, and I see the dude. He got a pack of cigarettes, and I want to say, he said, yo, the landlord won't let me do it. So, I buy and sell real estate. So, I'm like, word, can I buy this property? So, he say, I'm going to put you on the phone with the owner. I'm like, all right, cool. So, tell me your situation. Are you looking to sell or not really? No, not really. All right. But you would sell at the right number. Everybody would sell it. Right Obviously. Number. Do you own a lot of real estate or this is like one of your only things you do? No, just that. All right, cool. So let me ask you this. Um, how much does this property bring in monthly in rent? I mean, I, I don't like to share all the details. You know what I mean? All right, so Forrest, you, this will we'll make sure that this part is blocked off. We will no, no one will be able to, no one will be able to hear it. I'll, I'll bleep, we'll bleep out the out. I'll bleep out the sensitive. Information. So how many square foot is this building? 5,000. And how big is the lot? Uh, I, think it's a, uh, I think it's a half acre. All right, so it's like 22,000 square feet. So on a cash deal, what would you look at for something like this? What's that? Let's pretend I wanted to buy it for cash. What would you sell it for? Probably a million bucks. One million? Yeah. All right, so let me Why ask do you sound so sad right now? I'm just tired. So what is it that you did today that you're tired? I was fixing the roof of my... <laughs> oh, yeah, he was up here so, on the roof. So, hey, he no, was up fixing it. the roof. No, no, but my son owns a roofing company called Roof Doc. He could maybe help you next time. But anyway, real quick, would you do any owner finance or just straight cash? What's that? Would you consider owner financing or straight cash only? Straight cash only. All right. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to talk to Danny. I'm going to get the address. I'm going to look it up, and maybe we could do a deal here. All right, I have to think about it, but that that would be my number probably. Would you pay a million bucks for this place? Well, I don't even know the area. I don't know nothing about it. I'm just going to figure it out when I get out of here. So let me ask you this. So <laughs> we'll follow back on the next podcast. So no, no, hold up. So yeah, hey, I want a commission, bro. If you sell this bitch for a million, I want at least 10 grand. That's only 1%. Anyway, <laughs> we'll discuss all this later behind closed door. All right, brother. Listen, it was a pleasure talking to you. All right, we'll talk to you. All right, be easy. Peace. What do he's you think? A, he's a pussy. He doesn't like to talk. He's not a real hustler. I don't really care. But anyway, I just wanted to smoke a cigarette. Man, <laughs> talk to me. What else is good? Not much, bro. Not much. I'm fucking. I'm learning about. I'm learning about real estate with you, bro. Oh, let me tell you. Have you ever played? I want to learn more about your childhood, though. I want to. I want to understand what's going on in that head of yours. Why? How'd you turn out this way, bro? But how? How am I? 
You're, you're fucking wild, man. Not really. Bro. You're a wild boy. I have a peep this. When you go to school, college, school, job, they train you how to serve the master. You feel me? Yeah. When you control your own destiny, you are the master. And ain't nobody going to serve you. You understand? There's no one like you anymore, nah, bro. Everybody I rock with is like me. You get it? So I, you look, you have to understand. You got to jump into the people. It's like this. Look, I could teach you everything you know, but I'll never teach you everything I know. You get it? Then at the same time, if I deal with you, you and your man, I'm a, I'm a rock on the way you think, but I'm never going to put you on my level. Because if I put you on my level, well, you probably can't freak with it, and then we can't play. Get it? Everything is, is a game. What do you mean I can't freak with it? It's like this. Look. What I mean by that, let's pretend I'm trying to do whatever I got to do with you. I'm going to look at you as like, what can I get from this dude that I would even want to deal with? Because if, if I can't conquer what I'm looking for, I have no use for you. Get it? Mm. So <clears throat> if I put you in my field, there's like a million things I do. So if you don't know how to, if I can't give you the football and run with it, you're going to fumble. We're going to lose. Right. So my point is, I got to break you down and then pick you up. And understand what you got to offer. If you got something to offer me, I'm going to get it. If you ain't got shit to offer me, I'm going to pass you off. And I'm going to look at your crew. And I'm going to look them all. I'm going to try to suck everybody's soul. Damn. What can you get? What can I get from him? What can I get from him? And how many of y'all motherfuckers you got in your clique that I can school? Because if I can't get none from you, you ain't got no value to me. But the good thing is, I don't really think I need nothing from you except exposure. The only reason I'm coming here is because I got no social media presence, nothing, zero garbage. And I'm seeing little stunt dummies getting paid. Mm -hmm. So I'm feeling you, yo, what's you up, daddy? How show. do we get paid? How do we get paid? By schooling these people how to get bread. So you think you could sell some courses or something to some people? I don't want to sell a course. Why not? You only can make thieves, some good money, only bro. thieves sell yeah, courses. Grant Cardone, you ever heard of him? He's of the biggest course. thief in Florida. Grant Cardone, he pushes businesses. He's he's a dream seller. He. The thing is, look. You see I, this fucking jet bitch a million dollars a day Danny, ain't nothing to me Danny, scientology danny peep this if i gotta charge you to show you what i got then i ain't worth nothing i'm gonna show you for free so you could make me dough you get it it's like this let me give you an example if i know you can make me money 10 times and you can make me 10 g's 10 times to start and he can make me 10 g's and i'm eating because we're gonna do like a pyramid you're gonna bring people and we're gonna eat off everybody off my bread a pyramid an mlm not it's not it's like this look let me give you an example everybody's a client every single person is a client when you deal with real estate everybody's a client it's like this look yeah you know your mother your father your brother your sister your cousin your your girl the girl you're fucking her sister whatever you know everybody right no <laughs> yeah. peep this mm -hmm. you know everybody yeah how can we get what they got to make us money while they're making money? Everybody's happy, right? You get it? Mm -hmm. You understand the game? Yeah. Or you don't feel me? I don't. I don't you feel what I'm saying? Yeah, I got you. All right, look. Here's what How I'm talking. How am I going to make money off my girl's cousin? Because if she has a house that her mother left her and she ain't got nothing in it and she can't, she can't afford the payments, she can't afford the taxes, she can't afford the rehab, daddy going to come in and cop her set and I'm going to pay you. You feel me? Mm. So everybody eats But if I gotta mm. charge you to school you So basically I'm selling you a class That ain't got no value so Cause I got no confidence in my ability Cause I gotta rip you off If I gotta rip you off What value do I got So everybody you meet out in the world Has a value single, you're, of course. You're, The first thing when you look into somebody's eyes You're trying to figure out how you can no, The first thing got? I look in your eyes is to see if you got hearts See if you can freak with me yeah. See where you're at mentally, physically Dominating me How can I dominate you mentally To fuck with me on my field Get it? Mm -hmm. Yeah I get it But you're trying to figure out How you can make money with these How, how you can leverage these people Why to make wouldn't some money. you? Because what else am I going to do? Play T-set with them? I don't care, <laughs> honestly, I don't care what you do. What you do in your regular life has no value to me. Right. How am I going to eat what you do? Right. I could only eat if we could get loot. If so, I can't get bread, I'm not with you. When we were at the when I met you at that bar the other day. Yeah, when that lady was talking that crazy at me. Lady was talking Imagine, crazy I already got a contract. But that chick right there. The first thing you said to her, she was a real estate lady, you could tell. Mm -hmm. And the first thing you said to her is like, listen, what deals do you got that I could buy from you right now? Mm-hmm. 
And she was like, to be, honest, to be honest, probably she was trying to make small talk with you. And then you were like, listen, I don't want to make small talk. Tell me what deals I could buy from you right now. Give me the addresses. Getting she, right to the point. Yeah. Of course. You know what it is? Well, a lot of, let, me tell, let me tell you another thing I learned in my lifetime. And I've been doing deals since I was five years old. You can ask anybody who knows me. Shoot CeeLo, play dice, play mm -hmm. spades, poker, push, whatever. Comic books, baseball cards, you name it. The point is this. If you step to me and your game is whack and you ain't got nothing to offer me, the fuck I got to deal with you for? You know what I mean? Unless I could clean you up and show you how to get it. I could school people how to get it with nothing. I like to deal with broke people, by the way. Do the you? Of course. Because this is why so I can say I did something. Right? Of course, because if you got mad bread, what you going to do? Try to bang with me mentally? Right. You're trying bang to outdo with, I'll bang you. with anybody. You feel me? What you going to tell me? Oh, I do this, I do that. I don't give a fuck what you do. What you eat don't make me shit. How we getting it? Because most people who get it, they're, they're, they're shook because they're scared. Second, they don't want to share the bread because they're greedy and they don't know the game. Because like I told you from day one, if you don't know what bad is, you never know what good is. Wait. Here's what I'm going to tell you. What does that mean? Right, here's what that means. Let's pretend, like I told you from the rip, let's pretend your father is worth $100 million. Mm -hmm. You went to private schools. You got went to school in limousines. Everything that you did was force-fed to you to get bread, mm -hmm. right? Your dad cuts you off, gives you a million dollars, throws you in a crib, boom. Now in your head, oh, my God, I could only buy a three-and-a-quarter Beamer. Mm -hmm. I could only afford this crib. Shit, I only got 800 stacks left. You think you're hit, bro, because you don't know what the bricks are about. You never ate out of a bag. Mm -hmm. You never had to knuckle up for $5. You never had to walk this, your, the block because you got your shell head Adidas on and they trying to stick you. Mm -hmm. You never go to, you from Catholic school to public school. The first day you get there, do look at you. Yo, daddy, I'm going I'm to I'm stick you for your chain. Hit him in the head real quick, immediately. Come get me now. So the point is, if you've never done bad, you don't know what bad is. Mm -hmm. So the point is, I like to deal with people who've done real, real bad because then we're going to get it because they have the knowledge how to survive. Survival is the key to getting bread. Straight up, bro. You never noticed that? No, I totally noticed it, bro. The most successful people I know of came course, up. Of course, B. That's what I'm gutter. telling you. If you don't know what bad is, you can never know what good is. Because you're always comparing to the next dude. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to compare myself to, to Kanye West. Hell no. I ain't spitting on no mic. I'm not selling no shoes. I'm making money on the grind off of nothing. I'm creating miracles out of dust. You feel me? So every day when I get up in the morning, I'm like, bro, you're I'm going to call, I'm gonna call everybody in my camp to see what we got rocking. Because I'm going I'm to push you. Even though you cash the check for 100 Gs, who cares? Get up, daddy. What you doing? You got to be hungry. Because if you ain't starving, I don't want to fuck with you. Because how the fuck am I hungry? And I'm good. And you, 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 you got a little paper. But you ain't good? You no good to me. You're trash. So you got to be constantly starving. To the dude that told me, wake up and smell the roses. Daddy, I own rose gardens. I used to own nursery. I owned it all. I done it, did it. Peep me, look me up. The point is, that's boring. It's whack. What am I going to say? Hey, I got five million. I'm going to get 500 pounds. I'm going to go eat some caviar. For what? Let's get bread. Let's get real dough. That's what Let's gets make you up a in legacy. the morning. Let people talk about you. Mm -hmm. Feel me? When you hit the block, who you know to do this? Yo, that dude right there, he nasty. That's what it's about. It's about your legacy. When you're on the deathbed, you got stories for days. When you got stories for days with 100 motherfuckers, you could. Remember we did this, this boom, 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 boom. Everybody could spit a story. You know why? Because you done did it. If you knew you were going to die in two days. All right, what would I do? What would, you do what would you do all day tomorrow? I'll call everybody I know. Look, I'm liquidating everything for free. Holla at me. Hurry up. My kids, my girl, my mother, boom. This is what they getting. Everybody else got to come, and, and we're going to bang. And I'm going to look at you. I'm going to say, oh, he's good at this. You chess. Let's play chess. Come get me. You good at banging. Let's get there. You good at pinball. I got pinball. See, whatever you do, bang with me. Because you got to remember me. I came out fighting, swinging. I'm not going to be like, oh, my God, I'm done. We've been done. Every day we closer to being done.
Yeah, but what's your favorite thing? What do you enjoy doing? Like, what, what would you spend the day doing? You mean you would just spend the day liquidating all your assets, no, giving I people give money away for free? You would just give people your assets, of course. Because what does it really matter at the end? You're dead. Who cares? Because my kids are going to get bread regardless. My son got more money than me. He's 28 years old. He's mm -hmm. iller than me. You feel me? My daughter got two little kids. She's good. She gets bread. I got a 10-year-old, 12. My girl, my wife, she's good. They're all good. Because if you ain't good, I'm not with you. I'm not fucking with no bums. You feel me? Because I'm going to make you better. Because if I can't make you better, I failed. And that's it, a good legacy. Exactly. You feel me? If I'm freaking with you right now, right now, you're like bobbing your head like you blunt it because you already know, oh, my God, I got to holler at this dude about blah, blah, blah. Right now, you don't even know what to talk about because you're like, oh, you're mesmerized because you already know ain't nobody fucking with me because I'm on some other shit. I don't care. You feel me? I will bang with anybody on any topic because if I get schooled, that's cool. When I was in school, I remember like in fourth grade that we were talking about providences in Canada. Brian, how do you spell Nova Scotia? Shit, N O V A S C O T I. No, you're wrong. Oh shit, why? Because N O capital N O V A capital S C O. So I remember that shit. I remember in the third grade the demonstrative pronouns, this, that, these, and those. I don't give a fuck about that. I remember because I got it wrong. When you get shit wrong, you remember. Because if you don't remember your mistakes, <clears throat> You're going to make the same mistake twice, and then they're going to get you. Mm -hmm. They're going to stick you. Facts. You get it? Yeah, bro. You learn from the mistakes. You learn from the fuck-ups, Of course, I've made so many mistakes in the real estate hustle that I love it. I embrace it because I remember who got me. Oh, this dude got me. Now he going to get caught. Get it? Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm coming. Yo, daddy, what, what's good? Come on. <clears throat> you got me. Come get me back. Damn, bro. That's intense. I like the energy. Bro, I love it. Bro, reality is, look, you can never be comfortable. Mm -hmm. Look, let me, you know anything about sports? I know everything yeah. about sports. Uh, who's your, what's your favorite sport? Basketball. Who's your favorite player of all time? LeBron James. Okay, LeBron James. Who's he chasing? He chasing Michael Jordan. He wanted to be the best ever. Mm -hmm. Even though he got the rings, even though he got the records, the minutes played. Boom. He chasing. Why? Because he's not settling. You get it? He was from the Cavs to the Miami to the Cavs to L.A. Kobe died. They shitting on him because Kobe got murals. And he's like, oh, shit. Jordan never lost. It's like, oh, my God. LeBron. LeBron. Yo, but LeBron, he ain't going to get it there until everybody recognizes him. What other sport you like? Golf. Golf. Oh, who's your favorite golfer? Uh, John Daly. John Daly. Hit the ball 400 yards. Big Fucking fat bull. Crazy I, motherfucker. Yo, in San Francisco, California. Cal oh, shit. Yo, I dropped careful, it. Careful, careful. Right. No, hey, no. Is that still good? Is that still good? good, Aiden? We good? Is the camera Danny's good? My camera. camera. He just hit my camera. Oh, shit. I need to go to the left a Here, just pull it towards you a little bit. Go ahead, go ahead. All right, so j tell me when you're ready. So, John Daly, right? Are we good? Are we good? Are we good? We good? We good? So John Daly, I'm at the Cow Palace in San Francisco yeah. like in 1996. I see a guy selling baseball cards. He got a Rolex Prezi with a red face. You John can look Daly. it up on Sports Illustrated. I, it was John Daly. Yo, I had to buy that watch. No, yeah. stop it, it, bro. Of course, I swear to God. Stretch like a motherfucker. Do you still have it? No, I push it. I push everything. Oh, man. The watches I keep are the shit I like. I got like 10 watches. That's it. Because I need to buy and sell. I got I to gotta feed the excitement. If I don't feed the excitement, I'm not doing it. You know that. that motherfucker drinks like 28 Diet Cokes a day? Bro, John Daly was the illest. He's an animal. Okay, he's a gambling a animal, Give me too. another sport. No he's sport. a gambling sport. fiend, give me, bro. Give me another sport. No sport. Football. football. Who's your favorite player? My favorite football player of all time? Uh, Marshawn Lynch. Beast mode. Went to Buffalo. He went. Then he went to Seattle. He should have ran the ball. They could have beat Brady. Mm -hmm. And Russell Wilson yep. had a second ring. Pete Carroll damn, good. this dude's but an encyclopedia. Okay, give me the next sport. Give me another player. Any player you got. Any Fuck. sport, any player. Any sport, any player. Baseball. You know you like baseball? I don't know shit about baseball. You like baseball? Oh, yeah. I like, uh, I like uh, who's the fucking baseball guy who used to fight everybody? Nolan Ryan. I like him. Bro, he came up in 1968. His rookie card got Jerry Kuzman on it. 1968 tops, card number 177. Jesus. He was clocked at 100.8 miles an hour. He, Bro, imagine this. He threw seven no-hitters, never won a Cy Young, 324 wins, most strikeouts of all time. The illest. Jeez. Lynn, his name is Lynn Nolan Ryan. 
Who else? Holy. Mario Lemieux, Pittsburgh Penguins. Oh, come on, B. Mario Lemieux had Hodgkin's disease. He was making so much money that the Pittsburgh Penguins were going to give him the team. He, he bought the team. Besides Gretzky, he was the illest player of all time. He had Kevin Stevens and Yarmir Yager oh to win God. rings. Yep. Who else? Yarmir Yager. Who yeah, else? You got um, who else? Let's go. <sighs> Fuck, I don't know. I can't stump you now. I, uh, I'm I don't Troy even, Polamalu. Oh come on, we already USC, talked about the that. Hair? Come on, Daddy. He played for Pittsburgh. They won in night, and, and they won in Tampa when they beat the Arizona Cardinals. Pro safety, the illest. He was. He just the played illest. the field. Who else? <sighs> Kelly Slater. Who? Oh, you talking about Saved by the Bell? <laughs> no, pro surfer. No, fuck yeah, he was no, no I, don't, I don't freak with that. You don't wait, freak wait. with surfing? Nah, not really. Because I, I seen that one movie where the chick lost her hand. But I Careful my, with the but uh, you know what? Oh, but hold on, surfing. What about Jeff Spicoli? Fast Times at Ridgemont. Oh, <laughs> hell yeah! Where you at? Where you at? Hell yeah! What about Keanu Reeves? Oh, of course, bro, the Matrix. But anyway, the whole point is, B, you got to be well-versed. You got to know a little bit about everything. You got to be able to hold the conversation. What about Steph Curry? Oh, come on. The illest three-point shooter of all time. Bro, the reason he didn't sign with Did you Nike, watch the game last night? I remember in the first quarter, he hit some shot that was ill will. But I'm not really... I don't I don't really freak with basketball. I'm a Knicks fan. And the Knicks back in the... Yeah. Like, I followed the Knicks when they had Patrick Ewing, Charles Oakley, Mark... Bro, the ill squad. You come down the middle, you're going to get wrecked. Yeah. So, like, since basketball... Who's better, LeBron or, Mo or Jordan? Greatest of all time. Who's the GOAT? Well, LeBron I, I or Jordan? I got to go. I, but to me, the best is not even none of those. Who's the best? The best of all times, Will Chamberlain. Look his moves mm. up. Wilt the Still? Oh, Wilt yeah. the Still, look him up. He fucked more bitches than anybody. That's what I heard. 100 point but game. The whole point is that, yeah, we played for Syracuse at 100 points. But the point is, when you look, and then you look at rings, look at Bill Russell. Right, he got Bill 11 Russell. rings. But Jordan got to be better. He has to be better than LeBron because he played in a better um, talent pool. You know what I'm saying? When you look at the talent, and he it's never lost debatable. a ring. What? He never had to play the Golden State Warriors, though. Heavy, but draw it up. He had a this KD. No, no, I get it. I get it. But they lost to KD twice, though. LeBron lost to KD twice. Mm -hmm. So Le Jordan was 6 and 0. And then he took a two year hiatus. They won three, lost two, and, and he played baseball. Came back. Yeah. The point is, I can't really I can't really say anybody's better than Jordan since 85 because he's undefeated in championships. And the whole world knows Jordan. Jordan is a brand beyond a brand. It's like yeah. this, you know, Jay-Z was like, I'm not a businessman. I am the businessman. Mm -hmm. So basically, Jordan is the game. Yeah. Jordan is the hustle. He's the game. Right. Mm -hmm. But let's get back to real estate because that's my game. That's my hustle. Real estate? What else are we going to holler about? I don't know. Well, I'm what, ready what to go buy something and sell it right now. What about... Smoke up in this piece. Oh, know, man. I'm up, fucking bro. ready. What about cards? Well, what's your most expensive? I think I asked you last time, but like I want to know about. I got Jordan cards. 10s, 86 Flair. I did. I got. I got Mickey Mantle rookies, 51 Bowman. Mick, I got Willie Mays rookies. I got Ty Cobb's T206 Greenbacks. I got Goldback Ty Cobb's. I got Walter Johnsons. I got um, Christy Mathewsons. I got. I got. Um, you got any with you? No, I didn't bring any cards. Oh, fuck. What about Pokemon cards? Nah, I don't freak with that. I don't know shit about that. You don't know? That's not my thing, dude. <laughs> bro. That's just not my gig. That's not my Some gig. Some people make millions on Pokemon yeah, cards. Yeah, I could understand there's money in that game. That's just not my hustle. What about the sneaker game? Yeah, my boys, my boy, yo, the illest sneaker man in the whole country. Let me tell you a little story about my man, J.C. Lopez. Mm -hmm. J.C. Lopez. What's the deal with him? Bro, J.C. Lopez, the illest motherfucker to ever live. I'm going to tell you why. This guy's from Jersey where I grew up. He owns a sneaker store called Urban Necessities. You heard of it in Vegas? Yeah, you told me about All it. All right. So... This kid grew up from zero. Mm -hmm. They dropped him off in Vegas. My cousin told me him. He didn't even have money for food. This guy had a dream, and he's like, yo, no matter what, I'm going to get here. Now, he's the ill. Bro, honestly, and I'm going to tell you why I love him. He came, here, he came here like six, seven years ago, right? So he grew up with my cousins, Candace, who runs my company, my cousin Paco, her twin brother, and, her, and my cousin Angel, right? And my cousin Toby, right? They all grew up. Toby owned the, um, he owned the bail bonds. JC worked with him. And he grew up with my other cousins. Boom. He comes here one day. And they're like, yo, let's go out to eat. So I'm like, I'm like, where you at? The casino. So I'm not, I'm thinking, dog, I got to eat in the steakhouse. We had like four or five hours. I'm not beat. Let's go to the, let's go to the, um, let's go to the upstairs to the, to the, um, to the, um, buffet. They got good. So I don't care. You know what I mean? Food don't matter to me. I eat to, I eat to live. I don't live to eat. Get it? So, and he's like, bro, I only eat steakhouse, boom. I'm like, all right, whatever. And he's like, bro, you remember one time you told me that there ain't money in this shit? I'm like, nah, I don't remember. You told me, that's why I'm a grind. Yo, when he told me that, I wanted to cry. Now when I go see him, sitting all night, 
the illest sneakers of all time. That's my story on sneakers. And I got a couple friends of mine here. They own sneaker stores. I got involved with them. Mm-hmm. It's a hard hustle. It's not really my gig. When I, when I figured out the work I had to do, I had to yeah. bow out. It's just too much work. It's a lot of work. Any game that has a lot of work to do that you don't get big, big zeros mm-hmm. out of closing, yeah. I'm not yeah. yeah, You're going big. Yeah, it's just like it's like this. Go big or go home. Mm-hmm. You know what, I mean? what do you want to get to? Like, what's your what's your you got a ultimate goal? goal in real estate? Like, you want to be doing what you're doing now. When do you retire? Or don't you want to fucking sit back and just be like telling this guy, yeah, to I got. I want to sell my goals this change by the minute. So sometimes it's like, bro, you know, I want to do this. I want to do. That, I want to do the third. But in reality, what I realized was, what is your ultimate fucking like the the most in the perfect world? Like, what is the perfect day look like for you? Like, if you could do whatever the fuck you wanted and money didn't matter. If I tell you this, I know you're gonna say you're nuts. <laughs> My ultimate goal is to bet everything on black in the bro that table and lose it all. Oh and have to come yeah, and grind back, be dead broke, and do it got, again. I got I got underwears. I got a BVD t shirt and I got a pair of chancletas. On. Why do a lot of people say that though? Because the grind the is the grind, thrill, daddy. You want to have the grind. because look, what am I going to tell you? I want to buy I want to buy the Taj Mahal and 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 and, and have. Golden condoms. Who gives a fuck about that? That's you. That's like you cast in your chips. You sold the dream. Yeah. You're out the box. Yeah. You're not interested in that. Hell no. Hell no. That's whack. A lot of people say. A lot of people that chase chase the money spend a lot of time like grinding and trying to climb the ladder over a long period of time, chasing money forever. And when they eventually make it, they feel like when they get to the well, top, what's of, making it though? When, when they get to the top of the mountain, when they've achieved what they thought was their goal, then when they earn, when they earn their first couple of million, they finally be like, okay, wow, I, I finally got more money than I ever thought I would have. But and this, this is nowhere near so what I thought this. it would be. It's not, it's not what it was. It was made out to be. It's not, I'm at the top. I'm at the top, the quote top. But it's so I'm gonna put it to you like this. Peep this. So you remember Nas came out with Illmatic in '93. Mm-hmm. He had five mics on the source. In one of the songs, he's like, "Yo, I want a hundred G's and a link." That was his goal. A hundred thousand dollars and a link, bro. He, Look at him he now. Makes that just walking in a room. The point is, your goals change as the days change. Mm-hmm. You you see a goal, it's like, bro, I want that. But in reality, monetary value has no value. The only thing that really has value is your memories. Fuck a monetary. Fuck money. Fuck bread. Fuck the dream. It's about what you can remember, who you roll with, what, what can you talk about, yeah. how I could school you to get it. You dead broke. You want to get it. How can I make you eat? How can I make you better? Like yeah. my barber, D Barber, ill motherfucker, came out the block with nothing. Got mad kids, illest barber in town. And all he wants to do is help everybody. Why? Because when you are that dude and when you know what time it is, helping somebody get it and knowing that you got them there, that has more value than money. Because think about it. We're going to eat steaks at Bo's and Mo's over here. Go to... um. Where, 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 where am I going? Monte Carlo? Like, what time? Like, straight up and down. Where you going? Yeah, bro. There's a lot of, uh, there's a really good feeling in giving shit to people and making other, you know what I mean? Like, giving shit away to somebody no, else. No, it's not like it. that Bill Gates just throw money in the trash. It's like this, crying to get it. Let me school you how to get it. Let me show you how to get it. Wake up. Like, Pete Diddy. Remember mm. he had that show? Go get me some, um, go to Nicobaca Avenue and get me, and get me a, a pastrami. Go walk. <laughs> Like, why am I going to walk? Why? Because we got to see if you're dedicated. Remember the last time I told you when I came here, I was a janitor in Brandon High School. Walked four miles to work for $6 an hour. Why? Because you got to get it. You have to understand how bad you need it, how bad you want it, what you're willing to do. You have to grind Mm. mentally with the next motherfucker that's nastier than you. Mm. Get it? Nasty. Yeah, because if this dude wants my money, I got to bang with him physically or mentally. And I'm not going to lose too many mental battles, so now I got to fight. You getting a lot of fights? Not really, no more. I'm, I'm an old school dude. I'm in the boxing gym three days a week, but what do I need to fight for? I'm going to catch a bit and they're going to sue me? I'm not beef for that. Right. This is not the old days when we could knuckle up and shake hands later. We, we're not with that no more. We are in lawsuits now. Yeah, everybody's fucking suing now, bro. Bro, the game has changed. The world has changed. Everybody like trying to get it. I'm telling you, daddy, the way to get this bread is to show people how to make money. How can we get a daisy chain? Mm -hmm. Because if you bring, let me tell you how it is. Let's say you bring me 30 heads, right? 30 heads of what? 30 people. You bring me 30 (laughs) people. Feel me? What are you talking about? What does that mean? Jesus. That? Like heads of cabbage? Heads of what? I'm talking about 30 heads, dog. 30 people. 
And I school them, put them in the room. Look, this is how we're going to get it. This is how we're going to do it. You're going to holler at my man, and I'm going to school him so he can school you. Then you're going to call me on the deal. It's like it's like a a big, you remember that movie Um, where they're like in a basement? Where, what's it called? Um, Damn, and it's like a, they're selling penny stocks. Wolf of Wall Street? No, before that, before that, whatever. Boiler like, room? Boiler room. Yeah, yeah. It's like this. But instead of selling dreams, we're selling reality. Mm -hmm. Because I'm not trying to rob nobody. I'm trying to stick them for their crib at the right number. <laughs> no, straight up, you feel me? No, does that make sense? <laughs> yeah, it makes sense. It no, just because sounds look, a little No, no, rough. straight up. Yeah, because I'm telling you what time it is. Because look, if you got... <laughs> no, I like see, it. I mean, it's honest. 1968. It's curtains. as honest as it gets. <laughs> if you go into your crib and you see a 1970s couch... Where the fuck is that chick from? What was the name of that, that, that I movie? I got that motherfucker for free. No, I get it. But I'm saying, you you got you got um laminate wood on the doors. How many bitches you think been fucked on that couch? Ah, uh, be out. Like, how many? A hundred in this. In in the better question is, how many chicks you smashed? In Zero. <laughs> then who cares? That has no value. So the point is, like I told you, the memory. But reality is, you got to school people in the hustle, the game, and you got to put them so we could get bread. That's the name of the game. But do it for free so you could eat. Everybody eats. Everybody happy. Once you start charging for classes, you're already trying to stick them. Because mm -hmm. if you pay me, I got no faith in you. Yeah. So what's your goal? What's your goal for getting in the online game? Why do you want to create a following online? Why do you want to be wanna, on social because media? Because you know what it is? I know a lot of people and I deal with a lot of people and I feel guilty. I'm not spitting my game to everybody. Mm. I want everybody to know what time it is with me. I want everybody to bang with me, question me. Give me the dirtiest question. Give me the nap. If you, yo, straight up, if you gave me a nice comment, I love you. Do you know who Joey Diaz is? Joey Diaz? Holy fuck. I mean, There's Aiden, a lot of Diaz. Here. Aiden, pull up a video of Joey Diaz. Right, show me who he is. Probably grew up next to that guy. Bro, I feel like you he actually Joey do. Diaz. Where's I he thought, from? I think you know this. I think He's Jersey. from Jersey. Where we're at? Comedian. I'm not uh, sure. We're about to show you, bro. Yeah, right, cool, put it on. I think you and this guy would really get along. Oh, yeah. You're oh, right okay, up his cool. alley. Put him on. He's a bit. He does a lot of coke. He smokes a lot of weed. Used, yeah, but I'm used not with Connie. Who's not with coke? No. Everybody does coke. Nah, bro. I don't fuck with coke. He just what? tells. He tells stories. He don't do none of that stuff anymore. The reason I don't do cocaine because I'm not trying to have a heart attack. I got natural energy. Yeah, you yeah, got plenty. You got and I don't. I don't like energy, to smoke bro. weed because I get fatter and hungrier. Mm. Yeah. You feel me? I'm not yeah, saying I never smoke weed. Uh, click on his channel. Let's find a video. You gotta find his his his. Click on videos. Clip on. Put on his clips from like Joe Rogan. Was he like a honey? No, bro. He's like probably in his 50s, late 50s. 60s, maybe. Find one of his videos where he's talking to his phone. Uh, what's, his, what's his fucking thing called where every morning? Just go to Joey Diaz like highlights and pull up a highlight reel. Type in highlights after his name. Yo, you think we're boring people right now? Hell no, bro. Because we were looking for Joey Diaz. We try to That's okay. That's okay. Yo, just light up a stove, yeah. dog. Oh, fuck. I, mean, I want to. Is this an airport? Nah, bro. I'll get kicked out. No way. Yeah, bro. If I've spoken to this bitch, he'll get so fucking pissed, bro. Oh my god. Right, yeah, just do the best uh, of. Funniest man alive. Yeah, watch that. Uh, Second one. Watch the. Ago. Click on the short one. That one, yeah. Yeah, I feel like you got. You two could spit stories back and forth. Put the right. audio on the TV, too. All right, let me peep it. Let me hear it. The audio's off right now. See it on the bottom left? Bottom left. See, the, see where the little uh, audio is? The, yeah, there you go. It's hot as fuck in this bitch. Is it really? I don't know. Oh, let me hear this dude. I don't really He's watch got comedy. Your energy, like man. you know you what? Go I like to up with the audio from the TV. I like Andrew Dice Clay. Oh yeah, oh, we this guy's him. he's best friends with Andrew All Dice right, Clay. Let me hear. Let me hear. Joey Diaz, bro. My my my, my ex wife's brother's name is Joey Diaz. This probably it's him. probably him. No, it's not him. <laughs> listen, listen to this. Fuck. You meet somebody that don't do nothing. Yeah. You meet yeah. somebody that don't do nothing. They don't do nothing. They don't date. They don't, they don't do drugs. They don't play checkers. They don't do nothing. How long do you like those people for? You don't. I like people a little bit of age to them. They got to do something. If you tell me I don't like alcoholics, but I love heroin. I'm in. If you tell me you, you suck toes for breakfast, I'm in. You got to do something. If you were put in a position to defend yourself, what would come out? Would it be the jujitsu training or would it be the jersey in you? A gun, bitch. <laughs> I'm 53. I got time to hand that rest. He look old as hell. 53, he said. Yeah, I'm 51. He look old. And we're playing Patterson Eastside. 
That's what? just a jungle of a school. Like, you got to be careful when you're going there. <laughs> he's smoking stoves. Oh, hell yeah. He's smoking he's hella like weed. Play the Christmas tour. Oh, he's smoking an L. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wait, what kind of ball are we talking about? Basketball. Oh, basketball. And I had not taken this shit for like 10 days. I was <laughs> <laughs> something to fuck my stomach up. I didn't tell nobody. In those days, I was really scared of doctors. I wouldn't say shit to nobody. <laughs> but these are like people I grew up with. I know, yeah, it I sounds know. like. <laughs> this guy makes money. Oh fuck yeah, bro! Oh, yeah. Where he got his he own just podcast talks. and shit. He just talks. Bro. He got a really good podcast. And I blew this fart, Joe Rogan. That was so bad. Like we were on a bus and people started running. You know those school buses? People started running to the windows, right, to swing down the bus windows. But here's what gets better. I fought it again. And the teachers were going, oh, my God, he's changing flavors. But the worst, <laughs> but the worst, he's crazy. But the worst thing was, the cheerleaders were crying. That's <laughs> they were sitting in front of the bus. He must have been eating tacos or some shit. He's changing flavors. One of the teachers yelled out, oh, my God, he's changing flavors. That's how bad these parts were. They have not found Osama Bin Laden. And he's in New York right now. Somebody's seen him laughing at a hot dog stand. They know him. Well, you got to fucking go in New York. Man. Yeah, you got to go. People man. don't go like this in New York. You got to stop, sir. Yeah. You know how they do here? Like... No, you go. Get the fuck. Somebody fucking go already. <laughs> fucking moron. I got to get to the weed store. Oh, I fucking hate. Like, if, if somebody calls me and says, hey, call, God forbid, Tom Segura. His dad passed away. I give it a day. I call him like I usually do. Tom, I love you. I'm sorry about your dad. And then I'll just drop like a, what are we getting in the will? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. What you got for sale, right? Creepy sister. Are we getting, a, you know, what are we, and people usually go, you motherfucker. Yeah. Thank, thank you, you for making me yes. laugh. Yes. Jesus Christ. Nobody has the balls to call and insult me. Like, I'll call people and go, you got a brother? What do you want to do? You want to light him on fire so he gets nothing? <laughs> nobody, so else gets nothing. nobody else can test the will. <laughs> Maybe it's the Jersey energy. Bro, is no, that the Jersey this is energy? Shit, though. Yeah. Would you get along with this fuck? Of course, B. But I'm already trying to bang with him. Oh, wait, this is going to be good. Why does Joe Rogan look like Macho Man? <laughs> That's young Joe. He does look exactly like He looks like Randy Savage. He's dead. I know. Died right up the street from here. Skunk weed. That's enough. Yeah, yeah, I feel you. That's common sense. <laughs> Bro, that's like people you grew up with. That's Jersey. Bro, of course, I used to do that shit every fucking you, day. Have you ever try to fucking make some money off somebody's will? Be like, yo, you got to light your brother on fire? What we got to do? What, what's the, what's the deal with the fucking brother. will, B? I'm a type of doobie. I got too much pride. I'm not looking for free walks. <laughs> like when I see that free shit, I'm out. Yo, straight up and down. I never forget. my uncle. When you so see a free lunch, you're out? Hell yeah. There's nothing more expensive than free. 
That's Let true. me tell you why that's true. Expensive. Scoot, scoot forward, scoot forward. Get, get, get in the mic, get in the mic, get in the let's mic. Let's pretend I don't know you, right? Mm -hmm. And you're like, yo, Brian, look, I'm going to take you out to eat. I'm like, oh my God, imagine what he's going to want from me now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Every, bro, I don't I do not deal with that. I usually pay 99% of the time. Ask anybody to know me. If the bill come 1000 I'm paying. Fuck it, I don't want shit for nothing. Yeah, no, you don't want to. Because you know what it is? They're always look. Yeah, you see how I rock? Yeah. You've been out with me once. Yeah. Because I pay. I pay every time. The reason I pay, because I don't want to hold nothing. I just don't want to deal with trauma. I don't want. And then, oh my God, I pay for this. Yo, shut the fuck up, daddy. I'm good. <laughs> but you feel me, though? Mm -hmm. I don't need nobody to pay. I want to pay. Because it's better to pay than need somebody to pay. Right or wrong? Draw it mm -hmm. up. Facts. If you need somebody Facts. to pay for you, you hit. <clears throat> mm -hmm. If you paying, you good. Facts. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. B, but look, dog, straight up and down. We need to do this real estate. We need to write books. We need to get this shit on the block. You want to write one. a book? Why not? Bro, we could write that a book. This shit's fucking boring. Who wants nah, to write a fucking book, bro? I, what are we, scholars? No, bro. What are we, know, fucking English You don't teachers? write the book no, yourself. No, no, you get yourself a little dime piece chick and you start spitting game. All right, look, we're going to write a book called Mind Games. A hot little dime piece? Yeah, we're going to be on the 13th what floor. What does dime piece do for a little? I'm saying she's the writer. A hot little dime piece writer? You gonna yeah, fuck her I'm or saying, you gonna pay her no, writer? No, I'm not hitting this shit. I'm a married dude. Daddy, I'm good. Oh, same so, here. So what you do is this. You get somebody that you know that knows how to write. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You just spit game. It's like this. Imagine this. I got this book in my head. It's called Mind Games, right? So it's like this. The cover of the book. I'm on the 13th floor of an elevator staring at it. And I'm chilling with some chick. And we're like trying to hold hands, but we're not holding hands. Then when the door opens, it's like a, a, a mannequin factory. And then your mind says, oh, my God, I was in France. I was in Italy, Spain, Japan. We was good, but I don't even know this chick. But I was balling. But in reality, I was just a mannequin. Get it? You feel me? The whole point is it's a mind game. Life is about mind games. How can I, like I told you from the rip, how can I jump in your head, stick you for your soul, and make you bank I could bank off what you do. Get it? If I could control your whole set, your whole hustle, and make you call me on the reg, I'm gonna make you more money. But guess what? I'm gonna make money off what you do, and I don't even and I wasn't even doing it before. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna make your life better, but guess what? I'm eating now. Mm -hmm. That's how you make money. And it's a, just you another source of income. You bring people to your set. Bro, the more heads you got, the more you school them, the more you gonna eat. Because if you got a hundred heads in your camp, you eating on a hundred times whatever they got. But if you got a million people in your set, you're eating off everybody. How many people you call every single day? I'm going to say like 40 only. 40 people you call uh, every day? Yeah, it's like ring around the rosy, beating them over the head. Yo, what's good? What are we doing? What's going on? What's good? Bye, boom, bye. Yo, why is it taking so long? Feel me? Why is this deal taking so long? Beat them up. Get it. I'm paying cash. What's good? You got to, you got, listen, in any deal, you got to dominate the conversation. Let's pretend me and you trying to do a deal, right? Mm -hmm. Here, right now, I'm trying to buy your house. What's up? Mm -hmm. Where you at? What's up? What's your name? Shane. Shane. Okay, cool. Sugar Shane. My name is Brian. You want to sell me your house? Sure. Okay, For the cool. right How price. How much you want? 500,000. What's the right price? 500. I'm at four. <sighs> What's up? Cash? Of course. I'm Cash? At four. I'll do 450. Why? I'm at four. 450 let's hits. Do, good. Let's do 385 right now. <laughs> no, you went the wrong way. Why? Well, you went down. I know because you keep going up. I need to be at four. I went up? down from five know, to 450. Shane, come on, Daddy. Peep this. What's your house worth? In your... Okay, let's, do, let's work it backwards. Daddy, it's worth this. 550. Easy. How? Much, how? It, the look market. At the, look at these. Look at this. Look at this. South Guy wants oh. a million for this dump. I know, but he's cuckoo. Yeah. He, he he's singing with the canaries. Right. So I, I want to smoke a stoke. I don't want to deal with him. Give me give me four fifty, you'll make a hundred and no, we're both good. You we want, both eat. You just said four fifty. Mm -hmm. I got four hundred. You waited or not? Four twenty, we're good. Because uh, I like four twenty. Four twenty, we smoking. We come on, dog. Four twenty and we'll roll a doink together. I, I don't I'll roll smoke, you a I'll roll I don't, you a I don't stoke. Smoke, dog. I'm at four hundred. I don't smoke. Price weed. just went up more because you don't smoke. Ah, B, get the hell out of here. I'm getting my man. Yo. What's up? 400 or now? Come on. What's up? You good? You got I'm, cash right now? Of course. Let's go. All right. See what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? You got to jump in their mind. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. 
You can never take you gotta no for an answer. You got to get on your level. If they're not, sometimes people, sometimes some old fucking white lady, some old realtor, she don't want to do that. As soon as you talk, as soon but as he's you talk, off to the next one. He's not wasting like, time B, over B, there. Yo, B, what the fuck's know, good? She'd be like, this. she's calling the cops on your ass, Brian. But why? Yeah, but he knows but from the second call- he talks to somebody if he can get it. Yeah, yeah it's like this. Yeah, First yeah, of all, yeah. I'm not dealing with no realtor. Mm-hmm. That's true, that's true. I own a real estate company. I call them. Yo, holla at them. Yeah, that's true. Bro, look, what could we talk about that interests people? Because it seems like, listen to this dude's cool. We can talk about whatever the fuck interests us. It's not about the people. Pull up some more comments. But you know what it is, B? I'm going to be honest with you. I'm sweating bullets. I want to smoke a Let's take a break. Let's take a a break? I fucking take a break. Let's take a break. break. Stop rolling. I got to piss anyway. Yeah. All right, fuck it. I'm going to holler back. (laughs) All right, peace. All right, we'll talk about that later. Aiden, let's wrap it up. How did this. how did you get back up? How did you get back? How did you uh, get? Tell me, explain the bail bonds game. What the fuck's the deal with the bail bonds game? How you make money? Are you All ashamed right. of it? It's okay to be ashamed. No, of I'm it. not ashamed of nothing. But hold on, one time, real quick. I'm not ashamed of anything I've ever done in my whole life. I did it because I wanted to do it. Maybe sometimes I had to do it. But one thing about you me, had to start. You, no, you no, no, start, no, no. You got to start ever somewhere. Get it twisted. I ain't ashamed of shit. I've ate I've ate mayonnaise sandwiches, dog. I've slept in cars. I ain't ashamed of nothing. The reason I like the bail bonds, because me and my cousin in Jersey are doing bail bonds, because think about it like this. You selling freedom, right? So if you're going to get locked up, most people who get locked up are shook because otherwise they don't need to be out. You know what I mean? You could go play spades, knuckle mm-hmm. up, chill, eat, eat a salami sandwich, cool out, eat a black coffee. You're good. But if you're shook, you want to get out. <clears throat> so your family, your mom, your dad, whatever, they're going to put up houses, jewelry, so the bond, bail bond's like this. You got a $100,000 bail, right? So we're going to post your bond, $100,000. you are going to give me ten grand plus collateral. If you run, I'm sticking you for your collateral. So I lose no way. And then if you do run, I got my bounty hunters who have more, who have more power than the police. They could go into your house without a warrant and come get you. So that's just a different hustle for a different day. That was in New Jersey back in the day. Yeah, but that's out here too. But the thing is, over there in Jersey, you're dealing with like, you're dealing with street cowboys. You know what I mean? What's a street cowboy? A dude that's fucked up and he knows he's wrong and he don't want to face the music. So he going to get out. Because if he got priors, he going to do a long time. Mm. So he got to do whatever he got to do to be out. Okay. So you already know your hustle. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But... Like I said, that's for the ages. That's for another day. For the sure. thing right now is the real estate. The real estate is the illest game of all time. No matter what, everybody needs somewhere to live. Everybody wants to buy real estate because it's a commodity that that goes up. Sometimes, look, you know when in the real estate crash, oh, wait, oh my God, I lost money. You only lost if you sold. All them houses, look at the numbers. 99% of those houses in the city of Tampa are worth more now than what they were worth in the height in 08. Hmm. Yeah, I was thinking about that when I, when I sold my last house. I sold it, and I'm looking at this was Where like was it, at? it was in it was five minutes from here in Largo. Okay, I sold it for three hundred and thirty five thousand square feet. Is it? It was. I thought so I sold it for three thirty five, and it was it was two thousand square feet. So now it's probably worth about four. And I'm looking at it now, and I'm like, the fucking Zestimate on Zillow is like three ninety eight, four over four hundred, something like that. I'm like, I got fucked. I I, I fucking left sixty th- sixty seventy eighty thousand dollars on the table. But then I'm thinking about it. I bought my new house. It if it doesn't matter because this house I just bought would have been even more money anyways. So it's like you kind of stay on the same playing field. It stays level because the shit you're gonna buy next is still going up, the same as the house you just bought. You're the same as the house you just sold. The house, the shit you're gonna buy is going up at the same fucking rate. So no matter what, you're kind of staying at the same playing field. Well, you have to remember, there's a, a big thing right now called inflation. But the shit you sold is inflating yeah, at the same like, rate look, as the shit you're I, gonna buy. I've sold houses for 50 G's. I'll buy them back today for 300. Hmm. All day. Right. In 2016, I think I sold like 250 houses. I admit, that's a minimum number. I will buy every single one of those houses back at 100 percent profit to the person I sold to. Mm-hmm. Why? Because the supply and demand, the cost of construction, the inflation, the low interest, the necessity, the people moving here, everything's moving except the interest rate. The reason the interest rate is down is because we're writing trillion dollar checks and we need to keep the balance, the interest rate low because we can't afford to pay the debt. 
Can't you, if you buy a house and you live in it for two years, you don't have to pay capital gains, right? No, nah, but if you have homestead extension, you and your wife, you already got 500 G's of credit already. You don't have to pay taxes on it. Huh? If you're homesteaded in that house, you're allowed to make a certain amount of money where you don't got to pay tax. But once again, don't take it 100% from me because I'm not an accountant. Mm. I hire people to do that. Mm. My gig is buying and selling. I, I try to stay focused on what I know. I can't, I, I don't wear 50 hats. Get yeah, it? Yeah, that's, I mean, that's, the, that's a, the best way to be. Yeah, I just, I, I know how to make money on what I do. You want to be buy, a jack I of all sell. trades or exactly. master of none? Now I try to master a few. And then at the same time, I try to dabble in a lot. Yeah. Because the way I look at it, I listen. The number one thing a lot of people do, they, 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 they don't listen. So I got into Bitcoin because some guy was telling me, bro, this is boom, 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 boom. And I'm like, all right, there's 21 million Bitcoins. It's at this. Let me get in. And then I seen last year during the COVID, it shit dropped to 4,000. It was at 20. I'm like, bro, I got to buy some of these. I already made money. Let me jump back in. Then I seen this doggy coin at like three cent. And mm -hmm. I see Elon Musk and, and Mark Cuban trying to like make it happen. Meanwhile, uh, Elon Musk say, I need money to get this SpaceX. Oh, cool. You're going to manipulate manipulate this? Let me jump in. Yesterday, doggy was at 20 cent. Now it's at 40. Could have doubled up in one day. So you got to ride the wave. Whenever you deal with penny stock, doggy coin, anything, you got to sit like, like, like a machine. Buy the dip, sell. Buy the dip, sell. You got to constantly buy and sell. The thing about real estate, you're not really shook. Because if you could buy a piece of real estate and the rent covers the debt, you're good. Right. You feel me? Wait. And then at the same time, if you could take that dirt and make it bigger, then you could flip it to an investor who's going to build. As long as you control the asset. The name of the game is control. Control the property you make money. Lease option, purchase, owner finance, whatever. The name of the game is control the mind of the yeah, person you Yeah, obviously we're hollering at that too. How can I get in your head? Because you know what? I need people. I need people you to make Because you ain't going to control the asset unless you control that person's mind who well, has the asset. If you got cash, you already bought it no matter what. How you control somebody's mind is like this. How could you and I... Let's say I, let's say I never met you. Danny, look... Uh, Let's say I want to I make money with you, right? Mm -hmm. And I say, look, how on earth can we get bread? The only way that we can make money is if you have assets that I can buy and sell. Because you don't have any skills that I need besides that. What other skills do you have that I could use? None, really. I don't need laborers. I don't need miracle workers. I don't need, like, I don't need none of that. I don't need singers. I don't need none of that. Mm -hmm. I need somebody that can sell me something. I need to control an asset where I can make money. How do you control assets? By showing you the ropes how you can make money. And there's a lot of people who do what I say, but they're charging straight up and down. If you, if you got, if somebody right now is charging you to learn this, they don't really have confidence in their ability. They're trying to stick you for your bread and bounce. You get it? Yeah. What about people like Grant Cardone, though? He's making a shitload of money charging people. Because... Or like Ty... You know who the fuck Ty Lopez is? Bro, you know what? Grant Cardone, this guy sells businesses. He's this, he's that. And, you know, I give him credit for his hustle because he's making billions of dollars. I'm not going to shit on his... Billions? Parade. Bro, that's what he claims. But the whole point, what I'm you saying is real? this... I don't really care because I don't listen to but him. But do you think it's real? Do you think he's really making billions? The thing is, Danny, it's like this. How can I think if I'm not studying? We could talk about yeah, sports because I study it. Yeah, we could true. talk about real estate where I buy, where I sell, because that's all I care about. What this guy eats don't make me shit, so I don't care. Bro, have you ever heard of mybookie.ag, the website? Mybookie? Mybookie.ag. It's this Not website really where you, you can bet on all this crazy little, like, weird little bets. Like, you can bet on, like, if Steph Curry is going to score a triple-double or 38 points plus. And if so is bet there a VIG in this? Like a 10% VIG? Yeah, bro. So they're crazy, eating on both sides. A cash-out VIG, yeah. Yeah, so be Vegas wasn't built on winners. My whole point is I don't, mm -hmm. I don't gamble. When I do real estate, there's no gamble. Okay. Mm -hmm. No gamble. And anybody who wants to holler at me, say it's a gamble, I'll prove you wrong. Yeah, but if you know more about what's going to happen, if you if you know more, you know more about sports than anybody I've ever talked to. So if you know more about it, this guy, how this game's going to go. What I know, so look, Roger Maris won the MVP in 1960-61, right? Who cares? Whatever happened in the past is irrelevant what's going to happen in the future. Mm. I don't really know what's going to happen. I don't know that the, the, I you know, I don't know that, this horse is going to win the Kentucky Derby. I don't know that because there's odds. There, this, the book is stacked against you. So why should I gamble when I don't have to? If I could buy real estate with owner finance and I know the zoning and I could split the zoning, I know the retail value minus the rehab. I know there's money there. No risk why, in it. Yeah. Why should I dabble in something that's going to make cost me money? Right. Why should I have to worry about something when I could worry about what I want to worry about? If I'm eating off what I'm doing, why do I care about other things? 
I deal with sports baseball cards because I know the vintage cards are extremely rare and they're going to keep jumping. I know that already because there's more demand than supply. I know the Bitcoin and the, and all these coins, they're being heavily manipulated because they want to create asset class besides the dollar. And then on top of that, this is a transfer of wealth. You got 12-year-old kids making millions of dollars. Mm -hmm. You got people busting bank loads because they know how to control the game because they're making money without putting money. Yeah, they bought this coin, so what? Put 100 Gs, buy and sell all day. There, is there fun in that? What's the sport? How could I rob the guy that's holding the bag at the end? But it's no fun in that. The fun is the chase, the deal. Let me see how I can scoop this loot off what I did. How could I make this land bigger, better, stronger? How could I make you money while I'm making money? What about like buying a house, like a three-bedroom house, and then splitting it and like adding a wall and making it a five-bedroom house? We talked about that last time, adding square footage. Because if you're in a neighborhood where the square footage is $350, it costs you $150, you just made $200, $200 a foot. Of course. You always got to maximize your potential. Maximize what you have. Study the game. Before you dive in, understand where you're diving at. Look, bro, there's so much money to be made in real estate. Guaranteed. Look, I'm a living proof, bro. I never went to school. <laughs> bro, when my son went to high school, I even, oh, my God, I was so sad. I told the teacher, oh, my God, this poor kid is fucked out. He got to go to school. Bro, he got less time to get bread. And I feel sorry for these dummies that think you're going to go to school, you're going to make money. That's insane. Bro, draw it up. The teachers don't make money. Mm -hmm. Why are they in it? These people are, bro, half these people on welfare, food stamps, unemployment. There, there's more money on unemployment than working. Why get in that? Makes no sense to me. Yeah. But look, what else are we talking about? Let's get That's there. That's it, bro. Let's wrap it up, man. That was bro, a great way to end it. Let's get there. That's it. We good? How can people find your shit on Instagram? Tell them to follow your nah, social I media. I don't got Instagram, daddy. You I'm, don't got social media? I, no, hell no. I'm rocking with you. What do you mean you're rocking I'm with me? I'm rocking with you, dog. Where, where I go, you go. All right, let's so we're it. doing part three. Why not? Let's do part 100. Let's do it. Let's get it. All I'm right. rolling with you. We got to do the next one live. I don't live. need nobody to chase me. Let them chase you. You got to make an Instagram, bro. Why? Because. Bro, they want to holler at me. They holler at you. That's how you get on deck. I don't need them to holler at me, bro. You, you don't want to eat? I, I'm already eating. Cool. Then bring me somebody that can manage my shit. We both get paid. You need to set up a fucking account, an, a social media account so they can follow you and ask you shit directly. That uh, way, when you sell your book, they're all looking at your Instagram. They're talking to you. Let's just give the book away for free. Let's school them so they can write a book. How are you going to make money off that? Who cares? I make money. I'm going to make money when they come see me. He wants to spread the knowledge. Bro, peep this. No, if this motherfucker gotta, wants to make money. He no, wants Danny, of course I want to make money. But at the same time, he does How much am I going to sell a book for? $20? 20 bucks a What pop? do I get? Five? Three? Times 500,000? How many is that? So what? One five? But peep this. <laughs> if I so get, quick. No, but my point is if uh, I can get 200 uh, people to bring me one whistle. deal, that's 200 deals. If we can make 10 stacks a deal, we got two mil. Where you at? You feel me? That's mm -hmm. one. But I don't have time to fucking be hustling all these deals. I got time. Let them holler at me. How through you? I'll tell you, I'm going to hire somebody to do my... If anybody knows what time it is with social media, my number's... You want me to get my number? Give him your number. 813-857-4104. Come get me. <laughs> That's You're going to get a Come lot of school calls. me. You're going to get a lot of calls. Why bro? not? I take all calls. I don't, own, I don't take calls when I'm sleeping and when I'm in the boxing gym. That's it. You make money when you sleep? Hell no. The baseball cards go up. The real estate goes up. I don't got no Amazon business or nothing like that because I don't like that. I like for people to have jobs. The only thing, the only thing in my life I've ever bought online was baseball cards. I don't, really? Of course. I don't shop online. I like to buy my own shit. I like to press the fucking button and have it show up in my front door. Hell no. Who I wants like to, to go to the I Gucci like to, store when you can no, just no, press I the like button? I like to go to the store so I can see what I'm dealing with and, and holler at the people that are working. When I go to Target or Walmart, wherever I go, I don't, I don't use those machines. No, I go to Publix every day. Don't you ever go on your what? What do you when you open your phone? Don't you ever like scroll through some shopping shit and look? Hell for no! Look at my phone. I ain't what what are your number shit. one used apps on your phone, bro? Spades online. <laughs> the hell yeah! Look, dog. Look, peep this. Look at my apps. Look, I ain't got shit. Look, I ain't got nothing. I don't need all that. It really doesn't. The fuck I need you have shit. like five apps. Why do I need that? Well, how does that make me money? That's fucking no, crazy, bro. No, draw it up. How does that bro? make me money? I love that. No, peep this. How does that make me money? Sweating other motherfuckers. What they do? 
Come get me. You How don't even mean? have Instagram on your phone. Hell no. You don't have fucking nothing on there. I don't there. need none of that. That shit don't make me money. <laughs> oh my he's god. Show me how he's it got, makes me money. He's got ten apps. He's probably used oh, two of them. One of them is the what call. What apps you got? Let's see what okay, apps here, you got. Peep it, peep it, Let's peep see what it. apps he's got. Peep it, peep it. All right, he's he, got. He probably uses call and message. He's got FaceTime, his calendar, stock app, his email, which hasn't even been set up yet. No, I get I get about hundred there, but I check every single one. Photo. He's got all the stock app, like not even all of them. He's got like one fifth of the stock apps. Okay. He's got his phone, his text messages, Safari. Safari. That's Facebook it. Messenger. You got Discord? Yeah, because my boy owns a sneaker store. So you got mm. Discord, bro. That's like some but high level I never level checked shit. it. Look at, look at my email. I have zero uh, un unanswered. My phone, zero. My text. But I got 78 on Discord, right? Yeah, How many yeah. I got on Discord? You got 71 on Discord. Okay, 71. My and you, got, you got the Charles Schwab app. Okay. You got WhatsApp for your Saudi Arabian clients. No, because um, I got WhatsApp because I know people from out of the country. You're right. Right, right, right. And then, and then you got Zoom. What is Zoom? Zoom's like Skype. It's like FaceTime. Like Maybe FaceTime. somebody made me it's use like it. It's like FaceTime. Maybe yeah. somebody made me use it. Probably. It's just like FaceTime. You have so, literally no fucking No, I'm app. old you school. You have zero social media. Exactly. Mm -hmm. I'm old school. I don't need that. That don't I make like me that. money. That like makes that. me zero dollars. But if somebody could school me, I think me, that's like the new flex. There. That's like the new flex. No social media. It makes you more, yeah. it makes you more, more real, right? Of course. Why do I need to like filter myself? Why do I need to school somebody? Hey, tell them Brian buys scripts. Look me up. Look me up online. You can see my HUDs. West Tampa Holdings, Florida Area Management, Florida Notes, uh, Dove Pond. Look me up. Look wait, you wait, wait. You were born in Jersey, or were you born in Puerto Rico? Oh, no, no. My father was born in Puerto Rico. I was okay. born in New Jersey. Okay. Jersey City, New Jersey. When's the last time you were in Puerto Rico? Uh, probably like eight years ago, but the, I was. But my whole life. What What do you think about the Puerto Rican tax situation, bro? Like, like the you can live in Puerto Rico and you pay only like two or two, three, three percent. percent. Yeah, because the thing is, Puerto Rico is basically a commonwealth, right? The problem is, like, Puerto Rico has been heavily manipulated by the United States of America because Puerto Rico is not allowed to do trade with any other country except the United States. Right. Puerto Rico has, like, three million people there, and they're, and they're very dependent because they had sugar cane, coffee, and... So what? If you only have to pay 2% tax, what do you care? No, no, I get it, B, but people go there to manipulate the game. Right, but, but, for sure. No, no, obviously. Why are you manipulating the game? Because, like I told you, I'm in my circle, my box. Yeah. Like I said, I like to have fun. It's not looking like for handouts. Me. Like I told you, I don't need, I don't need to, def I don't, I'm just. You want to pay these commies? Yeah, but it's not, but you're right. But at the same time, it's good to pay because people got to go to school. Somebody got to pay for the welfare. Somebody got to pay for the food stamps. Somebody got to pay for the roads. So you, you agree with paying taxes for the roads, for the welfare, for the... No, I don't believe in welfare, none of that. I believe in paying for necessity. What do you think taxes should go to? If you were the president of the United States, and what do you think all the tax money that everyone pays should go to? Like, what, what should it fund? Well, we should never pay people out of the country. We shouldn't, because the reason we, we shouldn't pay, we shouldn't pay Israel $700 million for, for weapons and rockets to bomb other countries. No, first of all, I'm not a political person because once again, that makes me zero dollars. Yeah, but I'm very ignorant when it comes to politics because I could care less. But just as a rational person, if we have homeless veterans and we have homeless people in the United States, we should handle that. When it comes to the schooling situation, I personally don't believe too much in higher learning <clears throat> because I don't think that makes you money. And if your goal is to make money, I think you should understand business before you understand school. What I about believe the, in trade. What about the ghettos, though? Well, the ghettos are ghettos because that's the way... It's hard to explain ghettos, you know what I mean? Because like, like I'm talking about like Chicago, then fucking Detroit, like the the worst neighborhoods in the country where there's the most crime. Well, there's a lot. There's a lot of reasons behind that because there's really no work, there's no jobs, there's no there's right, no education. Right. But the point is, you need to talk about reality, and you need to have people help themselves, and you have to have inner groups of how do we get there instead of robbing and stealing. Let's just try shining and making. You get it? Let me help you. I don't want to stick you for your bread. I want to make you bread so we can both eat. If if you understand how to make money, you could you could show somebody else. But when it comes to like the government spending money, I think we should. If let, let's just say the homeless for like an example, okay. right? Like that's killing California because oh, they're yeah. getting twelve, right. thirteen hundred a month, right? So if I were to deal with the homeless, I would take them out of the city limits immediately. I would put them in the county and I would tell them, look, let's just say I had a hundred homeless people. How many people know how to do carpentry? Are right, you go here? How many people know how to do electric? Okay, you go here. How many people are in the nursing game? So you put them in different sections of what they're good at. Then you hire people that can educate these people. And then if they're drug addicts, you got to get them off the drugs. And then if they have mental problems, you got to 
school them. But at the same time, you can't let people live on the street because it's going to destroy the economy. Then when it comes to the schooling, there's a big problems with school because there's a lot of people who go to school who depend on the food. Like, it's a boring situation, but at the same time, it's very important. You know what I mean? I see you, you want, he's taking a drink. So I can't really educate you because that's not my gig. But in reality, if everybody were to help each other make it, it would be a lot easier. And if there was, this is too much greed too. <clears throat> there's a lot of greed on the top. A lot of greed with the with the yeah 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 yeah. Of course, but I mean bro. I mean I mean you're talking about like like obviously when you think of communists when you think of people like that you think of socialism people giving all you make all this money you're like okay now I make a hundred thousand dollars a year right I gotta pay a pretty good amount of tax right so I'm thinking okay if I can make a million dollars a year how good off would how good would I be but, but no gotta, I gotta pay now I gotta pay fucking four hundred thousand dollars in tax but it would be good if the money went to working to make the public better like me personally i'll pay 90 percent of my money if i knew it could help people and then it will come back to me because you have to remember if if i made a hundred million let's just say i made 10 million bucks right and i got a thousand people with me and i schooled them all how to get bread i'll make a hundred million because i'm gonna show them what i know because if me if i know this where, where, where i come from the hood who who i know ain't nobody ever helped me for nothing my father died when I was 18. My mother worked in bakery. She's still broke. Who helped me? My uncle was rich. He used to, I used to work his hardware store. I was making $50 a week. My cousin told me some making $10 a week. And we're yo, deal. why we make so little? You ever heard of college? Yes, this is your college. He's like, Brian, would you rather push a pencil or a broom? I'm thinking, fuck, I'd rather push a pencil. How the fuck are you going to push a pencil if you know how to push a broom? So the, uh, here's my... Here. Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. No, no. The reality is you got to educate people how to get it. And I like to educate people how to get it. How did you educate your kid? Because if you, you are, if, if you if you made it, if you made it, right? Mm -hmm. If you have if you're making a lot of money and you came from nothing, your parents had no fucking money. But then you have money and then you have a kid and you want to teach your kid how to be like you are. How do you do that with Because your money? you have because to Because most rich people have their kids, they go join the country they don't club deal and they with become them. pussies. Because they don't want to deal with their kid. They'd rather pawn them off to somebody else so they can make money and be out and, and smash hoes. They don't want to fuck with their kids because they don't love their kids. How do you treat a kid? You, you show them what horrendous is and then you school them in the game and you show them, yo, look, dog, I got 50 bucks. When my son, bro, listen, when the real estate market crashed in 2008, I lost millions. It was my son's um, uh, high school it, it, graduation. I said, bro, look, we're going to have to rent a, a shells. It's like 800. You're going to have to put four. I'm putting four. But guess what? You eat You eat the rest. My daughter graduated a year early. She did her hustle. The point what I'm saying is you got to show them what you're doing. And you got to show them why you got to do what I'm doing. Yo, my boy Jay, look, I got, bro, I got, I got mad people in my camp. My man Jay, when we didn't make money, we would go eat dirt for that day. If we didn't get contracts, we would eat dirt. You know why? Because we don't deserve it. You got to get your mind right. First of all, you got to be spiritually right. You got to be mentally right. You got to be physically right. And you got to wake up. You got to be on the phone before anybody in your team is up. Because you got to school them. It don't matter if you cash a check for a million dollars the day before. How the hell are you going to take a vacation and one of your men in your camp is broke? Are you crazy? You're only as strong as your weakest link. Like I told you the last time. Think about it logically. If you got 50 people in your camp and you're the worst, how ill is your team? Get it? Like I told you, I have zero employees. I only have partners. Because if you my partner, you got my back. I got your back. But if I'm paying you, you going to stick me. Because you, you see, oh God, this guy just made 100 stacks. I made a G. Fuck him. But if he made 40 and I made 40 and everybody else eats whatever and they keep coming up, they gonna rock, They want to rock with me, right? And if I'm schooling you in the game and I'm like, oh, by the way, you got to give me a $1,000 check, fuck you. Well, I got to pay you to school me. Who the hell is you? Do it for free. Do it because you want to do it. Do it because you righteous. Do it because cause you know that dude got your back. Because if you don't got my back, I ain't going to fuck with you. I already know when you scheming on me. As a matter of fact, I love it when they try to rock me because I already know what time it is. So anybody out there, if you deal with real estate and somebody want to charge you, fuck them. And I know people who charge. And I look at them like, Daddy, you for real? You're going to go popping bottles in clubs on Instagram because you think you cool? Because this stupid motherfucker stunt dummy paid for you to do it that day? And you pushing a car with a payment? And you in another nigga's crib? 
Fuck you, done. Straight up and down. That's where I'm at. Keeping it a hundred. One hundred. I don't give a fuck. Oh, this dude's racist. Use the N word. No, where I come from, everybody's the same. White, green, Hispanic, Latin, Chinese, whatever. I love everybody the same. I'm from the hood. Everybody good. If I'm making it, everybody making it. And if you don't like me, bang with me. If you like me, we get money. That's what's up. I can't keep it more real than that. Whatever I say, if it offended you, call me. You got my number. I love everybody and I want to get paid with you. Straight up and down. That's what's up. That's the only way to fucking end this podcast right here, yeah, bro. Hell yeah. <laughs> That's a wrap. That's what it is, daddy. That's a Til wrap. Till next time. Till next Let's time. Till episode three. Let's run it. Let's go. Let's go.